Hello, fellas. Welcome. Welcome. I went to make coffee while the stream was, you know, starting. One of our cats was just laying there. Like this. And I looked at him and I thought to myself... He is literally me after, the, after a stream. For real, for real. <laughs> God, For Faith is one of those songs. I'll go away for like five minutes, I'll come back. People are still chanting that shit. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? <clears throat> I saw a couple of people who thought this might take more than today, which is interesting. I... Here's the thing about Yakuza 4, I do think this game might be more difficult than you would think, without upgrades of course, but Yakuza 4 is still a very short game, probably shorter than Yakuza 3, but uh, we'll see. 
I'm still not sure which difficulty I'm gonna pick today, so... What difficulty does chat feel like? I don't know if it's a good idea to leave it to chat, because... Well... <laughs> uh, hold on, it says Yakuza 4 is already running... Does anyone have the silent patch for Yakuza? Like, the trilogy? There is a weird thing where, um... If you quit the game, the game is still running in the background. Oh my god, chat is going in for Legend, holy shit. <laughs> okay, chat, okay. Okay, Go someone even gave a super chat and said Legend. Okay, we're doing Legend. <laughs> This isn't like Yakuza 3, where um, you could argue there's more, bu more bullshit segments in that game. Having said that, though, what if we die in the finale a lot? And at the final boss as well, like very final boss. That's gonna be a problem. Yo, thank you, by the way, Pikachu Gamer, and thank you, Antonio, for the five months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, St Aesthetic. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I never used this screen yet. And I have at least two more that I haven't used. One is gonna be for a special occasion. And the other, not necessarily. Let's bring the game up. No. Yeah, people want to see me suffer the prison break segment. Hey, Lily. Hey, JMP. Oh, boom, this game is pretty loud. Maybe I just had reduced volume for Yakuza 3, I'm not sure. Wait, 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 wait. I think even this is allowed, holy shit. How is it now? Still allowed? The selfish deed is way too loud, is it? <laughs> Yakuza 4 story makes no sense, but it might be the most fun I've ever had playing Yakuza. Same, I, th I think that's the way I would describe it as well. Like, I think the pacing is still miles better than Yakuza 5. So it has that going for it at least. Oh, are we gonna dish out our unpopular opinions? Unpopular opinion? I think Yakuza 4 has the best story. That's not me, that's... Someone in the chat soon, probably. Okay, I feel like I was gonna do something, but I forgot what it was. Okay, I kinda feel the game is, was still a bit too loud, even after the adjustment. Should I reduce the volume, or was that okay? That's the question. Okay, well, I uh, might as well go ahead and start with the introductions. Fellas, welcome! If you just got here, if you didn't see the intro, if you're watching the VOD, you probably saw the intro, I don't know. But welcome! Today, we're gonna be going through Yakuza 4. No upgrades, just like Yakuza 1, 2, 3. So far, we managed to beat the three of those, just fine. I say just fine, but, uh, you know, chat probably knows better. Uh, now, the question remains, is Yakuza 4 gonna go smoothly? Or is it going to be unexpectedly a pain? I guess we'll find out today. And chat was demanding for legend, and we got we even got a small like super chat asking for legend. So uh... <clears throat> here we go. 
Now, I'm gonna say this. I might try to restrict myself with heals more than I did with 3, because this game is easier than 3. But... We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm gonna do it this way. If I get to an annoying part and I die there, the second time I'm gonna use heals, because that we would that would potentially be 20 minutes of just repeat. Yeah, everyone's looking forward to Saijima and Tiny Mora, it seems like. Guys, come on. The prison break segment wasn't that bad. Tiny Mora wasn't that bad. I smell a skill issue in the chat. People just don't know how to play Tiny Mura. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the super chat, Wolfie. Thank you! Yeah... I'm not looking forward to Yakuza 5, no upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the tiny parry window with Tanimura might be painful, but we'll see how it goes. And look who it is. <laughs> I see people spreading rumors in the chat. Lies. God, look at how beautiful that red menu is. Also, also, I'm pretty sure depending on the difficulty you start with, the amount of money you have is different, so watch this. 20,000. I think on normal you have 60,000? Akiyama starts with the most money. Um, now thankfully, this is a Yakuza game where money isn't too important for like story reasons. I don't think they ever like lock you behind uh, a money part, so that's good. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. Thank you, Generic. <clears throat> Alright. Here's the thing, though. We will level up, so we will get more HP and more, like, heat bars. It's just, you know, the abilities that we can't control. Uh, so, yeah, keep that in mind. I'm probably going to, like at some section of the game, and I pop up the menu, and someone's like, oh, Leon, you're level 10! You lied to us, you piece of... Well, I can't change how it works. <laughs> I'll just have to do it uh, the way... I, like, I'm, I'm allowed to do it. <clears throat> Same thing for Yakuza 7, but Yakuza 7 is like... It, it's, um... It's even more so uncontrollable. So I'm probably not, I'm probably not gonna do Yakuza Seven. Thank you for every cliche. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Why did he do the Yakuza Three thing? Also, I think I have the UI off. Wait. Oh, right. Recording purposes, you see? Someone's been at work. Yo, Owen? Yeah, hopefully. How would you even know of Grade 7? I think the best thing you can do... I mean, it's a different genre entirely, so I don't know... I don't even know if it's possible. It's just gonna be annoying, because... It's all about numbers in that game, more than anything. Uh, you can probably take your base weapon and, like, try to breeze or push your way through the game with that, but good luck with that. Oh, boy. Another game where I don't have the Stompede action by default. Kiryu is gonna have it, though. Does the leveling up count as upgrades? No, because I can't control it. I feel like Yakuza 6 might be surprisingly difficult. Let's try to think of it like this. No dropkick. That alone is like a huge uh, concern. And you're slow as hell. So, good luck. 
I'm scared. You can't no upgrade for it forces upgrades on Kirio. So that means those aren't upgrades. Boom. It's just uh, Kiryu's uh, inner meta breaking its way into the game. He's just that good. He's so good, he starts with upgrades. He can't undo it. You have to accept it. He just... And it's him. Put a one in the chat if you liked uh, Kido. I think Kido is okay, but he's just very forgettable. Are you worried about Zero with no upgrades? Kind of. It is possible, because... I remember... I don't know how many of you saw it, but when I made that Sam Lee video, way before Yakuza, uh, like, got popular, um, I made it through the whole game as Majima with no upgrades. And I fought loudly with no upgrades as well. So, um, it is possible. Come on. Akiyama's quick step really isn't the best. Thank you, Zephyr. I'm also looking forward to mercenaries for Resident Evil 4 tomorrow. Alright, buddy, get over here. Yeah, Kiwami 1 is gonna be actual hell. Kiwami 1 and Ishin, I think, are gonna be the worst. Though, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them. <laughs> Because they're just the kind of games that will be so, so, so unfun. That would actually be a self-harm stream. Uh, you have that, and also Lost Paradise, I think, is gonna be hell, because that literally does depend on, like, numerical values. Well, wait, was there a mod for that, uh, for Yakuza 4? I might check that out later. Yeah, people have been telling me, oh, do Dragon Style only for Kiwami. And it's like, dude, do you know how annoying that game is without the Dragon Style? It's hell with the normal styles, and you want me to do Dragon? How about you do that? And then you come and tell me how it went. How about that? Anybody got their coffee? I do. <clears throat> on Kiwami 1, I tried new upgrades, gave up on Chapter 5 in the arena. Honestly, I don't know if Kiwami's doable without upgrades. Like, even if you use heals. I imagine, you know, at the final f part alone, when you fight through the Millennium Tower, you're probably gonna use most of your heals there. And then you also have to go through Jingo's lackeys and Jingo himself. Imagine how much, how many heals that would take out of you. And then you have to deal with Nishiki. And there's no pause in between. You have to like keep going. So uh, good luck. Oh baby, rebellions. What if this guy becomes a very difficult boss fight purely because we don't have the double finisher and we don't have the stump? He's gonna kick my ass, watch. Oh yeah, this is like the... This is the first time in forever where I can't juggle him because we're doing no upgrades today. Oh, uh, he's gonna have his comeback. You just watch. Look at him. Look at him go. We're actually seeing more than one move because... Oh, already? Okay. Alright, Tihara. Ranking all the fighting styles. That is an idea, yeah. We could do that. At this point, there's actually a lot of them. 
you know, <laughs> I just thought about it. Over half of that list is gonna be the Koryo games. Because those games have like 20 plus fighting styles each. Okay, this seems to be a good stunlock strat already, so... Gotta make use of that later. So as you can see, we, we got a heat bar and we got some extra HP. Can't do anything about that. But, you know, it's still gonna be difficult because a lot of the good shit I'm not gonna have. Like 99% of the good shit I won't have. Kuroyo, no upgrades. You know, between that, between Kiwami 1 and between Ishin, I don't know which one is the worst. Um, we can, I mean, we can try it for the memes. Like, Kuroyo, Kuroyo 1, Kuroyo 2, and Kiwami 1, and Ishin. Lost Paradise. I hate how it's still, like, an exclusive to PlayStation. Um, that would mean I have to borrow my dad's PS5 and then bring it here and then set everything up with the wires and the cables. Uh, Dead Souls. I actually... I think Dead Souls might be possible. Though the question is, are um, upgraded guns considered upgrades or no? Because I think Dead Souls is going to be maybe possible, but... Nervousness, baby. Another go to truck. Ishin, but you're only allowed to use the bundle blade. How about this? Ishin, but I'm only allowed to use trooper cards. Boom. Yeah, the Kamurocho reigning in this game looks amazing. Love it. Oh! That scared me. Okay, do we make a new save? I guess we do. Um, I think either that or you take damage and all. But yeah, I'm, I, I was kidding. I, I most likely won't do that because just because of the weight it takes. I think they charge up slowly when you do nothing, but when you damage or when you take damage, they charge up faster. <laughs> Judgment, no upgrades. Should be possible. I think I'm starting to doubt myself. Yeah, because it's all about gameplay. Stupid cutscenes. I mean, sure, if you want to play it that way, but a lot of people played for the story for the first time at least. Stupid cutscenes! Get out of my way! That's me every time I stream Yakuza now. Does fighting Majima count as an upgrade? How? Sh How? Da -da -da. Any news for Gaiden? No. There probably won't be news for a while. Like, I don't know. Not until summer, maybe? That's my guess, at least. Tell us who did pure love in Kamurocho best. Let's hear it. Ryuji, ah, people of taste right here. Ryuji, hell yeah. Okay, I'm seeing way more Ryujis than I expected. I remember last time when I played Dead Souls, and I said Ryuji was my favorite version of, like, 
uh, Ryuji and... What was her name? Hana, I think? Something like that. Huh? Or Rina. R I think Rina. Um, I think people were like, nah, have you listened to Ryuji's voice? <laughs> Uh oh. He's a busy man. Can you beat Yakuza 5 without forgetting characters' names? Leave it to me. Just leave it to me. What about chat? <laughs> If I were to ask you guys to name every single story character in Yakuza 5, would you be able to do it? Come on, let's see it. And I don't just mean, oh, bosses or like villains. No. I mean even people like uh, Mayumi. And what was his name? Oh god, I can't, I can't believe I actually don't know. What was her dad's name? Fuck, I can't remember. Her dad, uh, he had an interesting name that I, I swear I know, it's just like, tucked away very deep in my, into my mind, and I don't... Uh, oh, he, Madar oh, thank you, yeah, Ma Madarami, yeah, 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 <laughs> I totally knew that. I just uh, wanted someone to uh, ref jog my memory. Mayumi, Madarami, Yahata, uh, Aoyama, Watase, of course. Uh, Majima... Oh, here's a tough question. What was Kurosawa's disguised name as a detective? Was it... Was it Serizawa? I think it was Serizawa, right? Yeah, Ser... Oh, look at that. How can I remember something like that, but I, but I forget... Madarami. <laughs> Name all of Saijima's cellmates. Let's see. Baba? I know the names, but... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have a knife guy. No! And a sword guy. Alright, buddy, buddy. Listen, listen. Oh. He ain't coming back. Oh, that, that's the grabber. No. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> We're already struggling. God, oh, the juggles. God damn. Yakuza 4 is the easiest, they said. They lied to me. Looks like... What? Did you see that? Rubber banding. Uh oh, the grabber. Let me kill the guy with the knife. He's pretty annoying. But I mean, all of them are. But especially the knife guy and the grabber. All right, come here, buddy. Dude, this is on legend. Okay. The rubber banding with the grabbers. I swear to God. <laughs> And this is just the beginning. Alright, buddy. Get up. That somehow missed. Yo! So far, it's going good. I think. Uh-oh, he's angry. Why are you angry? Still not dead. Here you go, buddy. Someone should remind me that I, s that I should save more often. Because we're playing on Legend. Because I have a feeling I'll forget. We'll go into a very annoying part and then we restart the whole chapter. Does the various ca training count as upgrades? So far we've done the previous three games assuming the training skills are upgrades, so 
We're not gonna get those. No! Oh, Akiyama, please, work with me. I feel like if I get upgrades, it's gonna make things a lot easier. So I just don't go for them. <clears throat> I'll take blocking enemies any day before grabbing enemies. I swear to God, single hand they single-handedly destroyed my sanity. <laughs> God damn. What? Chapter 3 already? We're half an hour in. Not even half an hour if you count, like... Uh-oh, Akiyama, what are you doing? No, Akiyama, step away. Give the man his privacy. So, the first thing he says here is, how'd your uh, little session with Siguchi go? In the original, he steps up to Kiro and says, hey, having fun? <laughs> Interesting changes. Uh-oh! And there is, there he is, he was watching both of them. Cocky punk. Cocky punk or sleazy punk? What are we feeling today? No, don't do it. No! He did it. Yeah, I'm feeling like a cocky punk today myself. There we go. Oh yeah, enemies know how to wallbound, how to juggle, how to do everything. Hey, buddy! <sighs> Tower battle. Uh-oh. Hey, that's my wallet! <clears throat> Worst part of Yakuza 4 is that it feels like Akiyama's part ends before it even starts. Yeah. Who thinks Saigo is the best trainer? Uh oh. There we go. Uh, let's get that bottle. Whoa, nice dodge. Are we gonna get the bonk yet? Oh, yes, we are. Oh! <laughs> Love it. I hate Psycho. Why? Just saw the bad boy sign. That's Psycho. He's the best. I wish I had a trainer that shoots me like he does. Same. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, Atomic. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like a streamer I watch says, a streamer's <laughs> suffering is the chat's entertainment, so here we are. Uh, this is on Legend. We decided to be bold today. <sighs> Which Saigo is better though, hair or no hair? Oof, tough one. I'm gonna go with no hair, because... It's good to appreciate people for how they truly are. Have you read Tokuto no Ken? I started reading it, but I didn't get very far. 
I'm thinking of getting more heals. Um, like, if you were to ask me how many volumes or, like, where did I get exactly, I wouldn't be able to say. What was the last thing that happened? I'm still super, super, super early into it, and that was a while ago. I think the last thing I read was when he meets uh, the caretaker of... Uh, Bat. And then one of the kids there, you know, gets into that unfortunate situation. Without, you know, spoiling too much. Uh, but yeah, I, I love how they... I don't know how they do it, but every, like every five minutes, they capture that feeling of a dilemma. Where you start feeling concerned about something or someone. And then there is Kenshiro arriving to save the day, and it never gets old. They do it so well. <clears throat> uh oh, who do we have here? I like Daigo. And I like Seguchi as well. Yeah, name all of them if you're Yakuza fan. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Cyber Blue is about a cyber Kenshiro with a gun. How is it now? There we go with Akiyama and his tests. Looks like he's a sleazy man himself. <sighs> Fellas, if Akiyama asked you to eat chocolate pizza for a hundred million yen, would you do it? We have an encounter. What? How'd you see me? God damn. No, 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 no! You... Well, there we go. Uh, hey, SWAT dude, thank you for the super chat. Um. It's... I don't know, I mean... <laughs> blocking in Yakuza 3 is one of those things where... Like, yeah, sure, enemies block, but they block in every game. Um, and there are a couple of ways to get around it. I think it's just with Yakuza 3, there's less things you can do about it. That's why people feel like, oh man, they block so much in 3 and we can't do anything about it. Um... Uh, I don't know. If they make a Kiwami 3... Oh, thank you. My god, th this is good RNG right here. We could sell this to get more heals. Um, with with uh, Kiwami 3, if they ever make that, I'm fully expecting it to be to play out like Kiwami 2. Exactly. And that's like the worst case scenario. If they actually innovate with it, that would be even better. But, you know. Always helps to keep your expectations in check. I did not know. Because I feel like when it comes to new entries or like Kiwami games, I don't know what people expect, but... I don't know. It always helps to expect the worst. It reduces the blow when you actually play the game. Uh, a third historical spin-off. I mean, it's always possible.
If I had to venture a guess, I feel like... Actually, no. I was gonna say a judgment entry would be more likely. We have an encounter. But... Who knows? I think judgment got out of the, like, licensing hell that it was in. And I think judgment is also more successful than the samurai games. But, uh, who knows. Yasuko is such a good character. She also introduces the best minigame in the series. Uh, April's Fools was five days ago. Okay, I'm just gonna step here so I can get rid of this guy. Because a forest substory, pretty much. Well, the start of it is forest at least. Look at that haircut, though. Just like me. Right? I always say this, but I'll happily take a Dead Souls too. <clears throat> Before and after. Mm, hey, welcome. Oh my god, I just joined and he's playing the most boring part. Listen. I want you to do something, okay? Hold on. Come a bit closer. I want you to do one thing, okay? Close your eyes. Count to five. Keep your eyes closed. Count to five, like I said. And open them again. And now tell me if it's still the most boring part. Look at this! How is this boring? <clears throat> if Kiwami 3 is turn-based, do we riot? What makes you think Kiwami 3 is gonna be turn-based? If there is a Kiwami 3. Listen, I know people don't like Yakuza 7, but... To say, like, oh, what if a Kiwami game is gonna be turn-based? No, it's not. Don't be on that reverse copium. Does that even have a name? What would you call a reverse copium? <laughs> yeah, it's like saying, oh, what if they made that Judgment game turn-based? Yeah, watch. It's gonna be amazing. Or was she? Oh, yeah. Doomium, there we go, perfect name. <laughs> Real life Kamurochi sign is blue now, Leon. Oh shit! Damn, if they, if they actually put that in Yakuza 8, that would be interesting. I'm telling you, Real life Kamurochi did it on purpose so that it reflects curious blue pattern now. <laughs> what if Kiwami 3 was a visual novel? I'd play that. And then at the end... Um, no, not even at the end. While you go through the game, there's this, like, intermission. Every now and then, where you, uh, where you play as Daigo. And there's Mine as a dating sim. And then you uh, hang out with Mine and like... Hell yeah. Now that's a proper Kiwami game. <laughs> I see you encounter. I actually wouldn't mind a Yakuza rhythm game. 
just put all of the karaoke songs we know and add new ones and have multiple characters sing the same songs. <clears throat> Doesn't Saima congratulate you for dating hostesses in 3? She does. The only thing she does after disappearing. Can we... Yes. Uh-oh. This could be tricky. Where's the gun? Did it... Where... Did I kick the gun by accident? My life was depending on that gun. Oh no. Where the fuck did it go? <laughs> Gun! Hello! Okay, well, I guess we have to do it without it. God damn. I'm telling you guys, what if this game is harder than 3 without upgrades? This is a problem. Okay, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? No, no, okay. Okay, that guy doesn't get knocked down. That guy does, though. I could be wrong, but I feel like the Munakata fight isn't gonna be nearly as bad as it might sound. Just because he stole the same thing that you would normally do with the grabs. Unless that grab is not unlocked. I think it is, though. Look at how many heals went just for this fight. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, that guy behind us is not nice. Sword guy is almost dead. Maybe using finisher slows us down more than it's worth. Okay, so... Does Akiyama? Yes, he does it. Why would you use a sword like this? Explain that to me. People say Saijima is dumb, but there is Akiyama using a sword like this. Like, there is stuff about the later games people criticize, and then you have shit like this. Don't tell me, like, oh, he doesn't know how to use a sword. He's like, he's an angel. He never held a weapon in his life. He, he doesn't know how to... No, that's not how it works. You have a sword, you impale someone. That's all there is to it. It doesn't take, like, an ancient fucking scroll telling you, like, oh, you see the tip of this blade, you put it into someone. No. Uh, that is the definition of lazy acid reuse. Uh, yo, thank you for the super chat, uh, SWAT dude. I don't know, there's a lot of them. The camera. After you beat Ishin, which place... Wait, you're asking me where I would place Ishin or where I would place... Yakuza 4. I think Ishin is B tier for me. Give or take. Blim. Do you prefer gun Daigo or Daigo with gun? Daigo with gun, because that's three words, so he's probably stronger in that form. 
Marimba. Does this game have five uh, taxis, or was that with fi Yakuza 5? Yo, thank you for another super chat, SWAT dude. Thank you. Okay, we do have five uh, shortcuts. Nice. Oh, wait. We're going to the cabaret. Do By the way, Akiyama is really fun to play in this game, but man, his story... Half of the story is you going to the hostess club and managing whatever thing you have to manage there with Lily or Yasuko. It was so boring. Back in the day, I tried to find a way to pass through it as fast as I can. Uh... Yo, thank you for the super chat, Wolfie. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. And welcome. In the joint made you miss Army 3. Da -da 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 -da. Look at these notifications popping in, goddamn. No! I don't want to finish. She's gonna look sad now. Can't wait for Judgment No Upgrade Run. Same. <laughs> I feel like... In one or the other, like either the first or the second Judgment game, you're gonna die in like, one hit eventually. From normal attacks. Depending on the difficulty, of course, but... If it's on Legend, I can see it happening. Yeah, Kroi Wano upgrades Lamau. <laughs> What's the hardest no upgrade one he can do? Here's a few. Kiwami 1, Ishin, and uh, probably Kureo. Easiest game to no upgrade? Potentially this, but we'll see. Yeah, because they're all upgrades when... Now that is an idea. Which game should we all upgrade? Zero also might be the easiest. Mm, I don't know about Zero. Mainly because a game like Zero and Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2 and 6, they all have uh, damage upgrades. When this game, for example, it doesn't have that. Uh, Yakuza 3 doesn't have that. Yakuza 5 doesn't have that. Granted, in Yakuza 5, you can, like, boost your damage with, um, with restaurant upgrades, but still. Um, like, you still have a certain amount of damage that you're assigned just for the most of the game. Um, and you can get through it probably with less trouble than Yakuza 0. Do you want me to... Hmm... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be very difficult, but who knows. Yeah, Yakuza 7 is in a 
league or like a room of its own. Like you can't compare it to the other games when it comes to no upgrades or all upgrades. It's just fundamentally different. Yakuza 6 without saying Jimmy once run. The question is, is that a challenge for me or chat? Right, pocket, thank you. Who's Jimmy again? Say that again. The audacity of some people. I should probably restock on heals, and I need to sell that gold plate that I got. <laughs> uh, this is on Legend. Chat was demanding Legend. We went for Legend. <sighs> Am I gonna use equipment? I honestly don't know. I should probably stuff them in the uh, hideout for now. Oh yeah, I'll save right before uh, the thing pocket. We still have a good bit to go. Rip this one once Sajima Prison Break hits. Oh, why would you say that? Come on. I think it's gonna be fine. And look who it is. My boy. So, I don't think he can piece out of this. This will be something we have to get. Oh wait, you can. Okay. Do these count as upgrades? If we can skip them, I will skip them. Though, having said that, that, that ability alone would have been a huge help in the upcoming fight. But, uh, we're doing this as clean as we can. Sometimes I, conf I confuse between this Revelation and the one in the Yakuza 3. So when I get to the one in Yakuza 3, I'm like, hmm, I think I can skip this, right? I'll skip it. But then it turns out you can skip that one. Uh, but this one you can skip. This is chapter 4. Oh wait, you have to talk to the guy in the front. <laughs> yeah, Swaggy, we'll see. No, not this guy. Overburdened man. There we go. Yeah, because the forest is shorter than I remember. If you skip everything, it's super short. Same for Yakuza 3. There we go, and I think now we go to the back. 
You can't say from the menu, can you? No. Yes, delicious, useless soul orbs. If only I could exchange those for something. Okay, no save point, but that's fine. Is in S or lower tier? No, no, no. Uh, I would place Ishin in like B tier. Can you know upgrade one Yakuza 7? No. What Yakuza game has the most lackluster substories? Hmm, never thought about it. What does chat think about that one? Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, maybe grabbing is gonna be pretty viable, actually. Even though we're playing Akiyama, who... The fun... with him is from all these kicks. But you gotta do what you gotta do for iframes. Uh-oh. Speaking of iframes... Yeah, there's a one in Kiwami. Yeah, I would say one and Kiwami do have boring sub stories. A lot of them feel the same. Just hey, you got scammed again. Get up. Now. Yeah, Asian has a shit ton of, like a shit ton of uh, friendships. For sure. Every two steps, hey, yeah. Uh, can you help me? Sure. You help them. Boom, new friend. I have no idea about Kenzan. I know you can find story summaries of the main story, but did anyone even translate Kenzon's sub-stories? Nope, not... There we go. No, I still didn't uh, get to Ishin Zaman. I still need to finish that sometime. It's been so long since I launched uh, Ishin. Oh, speaking of... A little birdie recently told me that they fixed the guaranteed chicken racing wins. Oh man. I you know I have expected for them to do to do that, but I also was like, hmm, they probably wouldn't care. I mean It's not like people will stop playing the game because of it. But yeah. Alas. I'm glad I farmed a lot of money before I stopped. And I think I don't even need any more money at this point. I did a lot of stuff already. So now, chicken racing does work, but it's back to the saves coming method. You have to save, and then you pray that your uh, prediction is right. If not, reload and do it again. Holy shit, this guy's... Stop! Yeah, go on him, buddy. Look at him go, yeah, yeah, just grab scum him like he fucking comboed me. The fact that he did that before 60 FPS cutscenes and other combat fixes. Yeah, like, when they released the first update, uh, a lot of it was just about fixes, which was good, but... Why did they? <laughs> Why? Like, here's the question, after they updated the seals, did the game become forgiving to farm, or no? Because I didn't play that update, but I heard, you know, seals got easier to obtain. You have certain ones in the dungeon and all that, but I never played the game um, after that uh, update. I haven't played the game in a while, in general. But I did hear, like, the seal drop rate is, uh, like, above the roof. Still a bad grind? God damn. 
So would you say a good way to put it is you still have to grind a lot, but maybe you just have more clarity on where to farm? Because with seals, it was a huge question mark. You could you could get them in, you know, street fights, uh, or you could like try to grind for them in in the dungeon. But there was no specific way to get the one you want, pretty much. You could like try to get certain ones, but the uh, virtue percentage ones seem to be almost impossible to get. Oh, the combo! Uh, yeah, the cutscenes are capped at 30. Always have been. We need the locksmith. Okay, so what? Like, if you go to the dungeon menu, does it just say, like, high quality seal or just, like, seal? Something like that. It doesn't have specific ones. Uh-oh. God damn! Okay, some dungeons have specific ones. Okay. Why can you not grab the mid-animation? It's not just the Yakuza 4 thing, by the way. I think even in Yakuza 5... 3, 4, 5... And I think some of the other ones as well, like Zero, Kiwami... I hate it. Let's get you... here! Really, really helps me through the grind. Glad to hear it, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, like, between this grab system and also the heat action, uh, mechanics sometimes where they have to be standing still or else it's not gonna work. It's super annoying. This is the kind of stuff I wish modders can fix, if possible, of course. Because, man, that would make the game so much... It would make the game feel so much better to play. Because, like, there's no reason Akiyama should be waiting for a guy to be standing still before he can bonk him on the head with this pipe. Oh, what are you doing there, buddy? In the middle of a grab? Okay. I'll wait for you to finish that grab, and then I'll hit you on the head. Deal? Okay. A bonk! Performance with fire effects. Okay. Uh-oh. This is gonna be... I don't know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be something. Yeah, stuff like the high armor as well. I'd love to see mods for that. Which does remind me of something. For those who play the Resident Evil 4 remake, um, modders have fixed stuff like... Uh, well, I say fixed in quotes, but... So you know how in higher difficulties, enemies take like four fucking bullets to the head? give or take, until you can actually melee them and they get stunned. 
Um, there's a mod that makes it so that it's more like the original, where when you shoot someone on the head once, they stagger and you can just melee them. I like stuff like that. Um, I haven't downloaded the mod, but again, just the fact that there are people that make stuff like that is really nice. Yo, Nick, welcome. Which Yakuza game did I play the most? Probably Yakuza 0 or 7. One of those two. Mm -hmm. We come across him. Okay, I think this is a good combo. Come on. We should have two people here and a couch guy as well. I'm gonna lure these two outside here. Oh, baseball time. <laughs> Hashimoto. Isn't that the bully's name? In Yakuza 3? The one who bullies uh, Shiro? Uh-oh. A little too close. Let me wait for him. Is he focused? Oh, no. Uh, homeless guy. Homeless guy! Make way for him, goddammit! Look at him! He's trying his best. He's trying to reach his dreams, but... Homeless guy is there to stop him. Come on! I believe in you! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Walk. Run. Get through that door. Come on. I believe in you. Do it. <laughs> Uh-oh, now he's blocking me. Dude, get the fuck out of the door. Seriously. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Get hit. Dude. Just... <laughs> Soft lock? Okay. What if I... Okay. Yeah, revolutionary AI right there. <laughs> Imagine he gets soft-locked, and of all things, it's that. All right, all right. Okay, this is gonna be another annoying room. Mostly because of the space. Yo, Jade, how you doing, buddy? Welcome. Thank you. No, heat action. God damn it. Eat it. Can I? Yes. Hirose. Okay, one down. <laughs> yeah, this is on legend. Okay, we need a better strategy, like... I don't know. Oh, that somehow interrupted him. <laughs> what? How did... Uh, yeah, this is on Legend. Hello, alaikum assalam. Shalom at Chizad. Oh, 
Oh god. Okay, gotta attack the blue sweatshirt guy or sweater guy. There we go. Alaikum as salam, hada. Okay, just one more of them to go. Is Yakuza 5 the longest running Yakuza game? It's one of them. If you're doing a story playthrough, I think Yakuza 6 is surprisingly longer. God, I can't remember exactly, but I do remember some games surprising us when I did that uh, story marathon. 6 was really long. Um, I think it was longer than Yakuza 0, at least. No, Kido! What have they done to you? Hi, Leon. Do you like Dead Souls? I love Dead Souls. No. Grab him, Akiyama, not the chair. There we go. play any of the Marvel Spider-Man games? No, don't really have any interest. I used to be kind of... Well, I don't know if I should say obsessed, but... I used to like Mar Marvel... Whoa, whoa! Relax! Holy... <laughs> Fellas, we're friends here. Let's talk... Let's talk it out, please. Please, no need to resort to violence. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. There was a period of time where I really liked Marvel stuff, but not anymore. But even then, I wasn't like... I didn't... It's, it's not like I watched every movie, read every comic and all that, no. <laughs> oh, here we go. They're like, oh, you love wall bounding? Let's give, let's give you what you really love as well. <sighs> Same, Jack. Uh oh. Yo, Neon, welcome. Yeah, for now. <laughs> okay, let's pick something up. Idle state? There we go. What did I tell you guys? You have to wait for them to stand still, and it's like, come on. Thankfully, though, the damage you deal in this game is like night and day difference compared to Yakuza 3. Even on Legend. We can take his... Oh, gun! Guns, though, are still shit, as you can see. Uh-oh. Almost. Love how he stood up only to fall again. 
The question is, is he Akutsu? Like, is he Walmart Akutsu? Or is Akutsu Walmart? I forgot his name already. Mitsu something? M Midorikawa? Yeah, Midorikawa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walmart Midorikawa. There we go. <laughs> I should go to Ibis. So wait, if you, before you move on to the next chapter, if you have stuff stored at a save point or in the hideout, do they carry over for the next pro tag? Or no, is it just in the final chapter? Like, you know, not the inventory, of course. Like, the actual storage, if you put stuff there. Do those at least carry over? No? Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Hold on. You think RGG would ever consider remaking Dead Souls? I would hope so. I would hope so. Maybe when they watch my channel and think to themselves, Oh man, this Yakuza YouTuber really loves Dead Souls. And look at all the people in the chat who would love this game. You know what? Let's do it. Maybe? What do you think, chat? <laughs> Thank you, Ruddy. I should probably... no. Is the Warga Talisman in Kiwami 1 worth suffering for? It's pretty good still. Like, it's not uh, like a full heat refill at all times. It's more of a every one second you get a certain amount of heat. But it's still very good. How's the Madon going? Pretty well. How about you? Is he allowed to use equipment? Uh, so far in every previous game we haven't used equipment, so I'm avoiding them. Which, on that topic... Yeah, Mint. Um, I don't know if they did mono, or maybe they just reused the same ones. I'm good, what about you? Has any fight given you a hard time yet? Not really. We had a few <laughs> yikers moments, but nothing too serious. We got wall bounded a couple times, but you know, that's about it. God, I can't wait for tomorrow. Mercenaries. Because of that, I might actually stream it tomorrow. We'll see. I don't think anything will be worse than fighting Mine. Mm. Now that you've said that, something will be worse. What, though, is the question? I just find it so funny, again, how... 
people expected for someone like Tamashiro to be the worst one. Or one of the worst ones. But, of course, mainly Lao Kalong. And, uh... <laughs> look where that got us. I feel like one of the tougher fights in this game is gonna be Tanimura's uh, first long battle. The final bit, especially, with the, with, you know, the two bosses and all the goons. But we'll see. The good thing about Tanimura is that when he has to do crowd control, he can do it with a lot of iframes. So, uh, maybe it's not gonna be so bad. Same thing for, uh, Monokata's fight. And, Monokata is not gonna have heals, so... You know who is gonna have heals, though? Kido. And I know you might be thinking, oh, but you're playing a Saijima. It should be nothing. Well, here's the thing. Kido has not just hyper armor, ultra hyper armor, where even like... Like, w with most of the bosses, at least, when you attack them in their norm normal state, they will, like... Um, flinch, and, you know, you see them get hurt. Kido, though, doesn't do that. Even outside of heat mode. Or at least not most of the time. Like, sometimes he will do that, sometimes he won't. Um... Sometimes he'll just keep attacking you uh, w without, like, paying any mind to your attacks. <laughs> We're pretty close to the end of Akiyama's segment now. Did you play Mercenaries on RE5? I spent many time years ago. Of course. Mercenaries on Resident Evil 5 in particular? I think it's like the one Mercenaries mode that I played the most. I have a lot of fond memories with those. Um, I played solo, played duo. With friends, family. Random people online. Uh, hi Leon, watching the stream while doing the Tango challenges. Your com commentary helps with the boredom. Thank you, thank you so much. I have no idea how, how happy that makes me. Thank you. Love watching your streams, Mr. Yakuza Guy 7 gets me through the workday. Chat! Chat, please! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm actually feeling useful. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I could uh, help you out with that. And there's the briefcase. <clears throat> uh, maybe muzzle, we'll see. I'm definitely more encouraged or more motivated to do the Judgment games than something like Kiwami 1 and Ishin. And Kuroyo. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, guys. Everyone that's having a bad day at work or just a bad day in general, I'm sorry to hear that, but... You're always, always, and I mean always, welcome in these streams to just hang out and chill and talk. Maybe with a cup of coffee, some snacks, and just a lot of uh, relaxation. He sure is getting a lot of phone calls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had a free day today. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hope you're enjoying it. When Judgment 3 is eventually announced or released, do you think they'll bring back Kawana as a villain or main character? Neither. Kawana is the character who will just disappear for good, especially, you know, given what happens in that game. Not gonna say, you know, spoilers in case anyone didn't play that game, but he had a very good reason to never show up again. <laughs> 
But I mean, in the unlikely case that he might show up, I don't know. I love how Hana doesn't even have a stamina bar. <laughs> Get back here, Hana. Do you guys think now that they made like a fully fledged uh, mini campaign for Kaito that he might be playable in Ju Judgment 3? I feel like that's very possible. Assuming Yagami is coming back, of course. I can see them making a segment for Kaito. Or like even dividing the game between Yagami and Kaito. And of course, having other people would be nice as well, like Higashi and Segura, but. I feel like those two are less likely. As cool as it would be. You can already hear it, can't you? Be honest. Okay, we have an encounter. Hope I can dodge it. Okay. I should probably save. <laughs> Same, NG. No, god damn it. Hate when it does that. Uh, that works, I guess. Alright, chat. While you enjoy this beautiful singing, I will be back. この店のオーナーの秋山というものです。そうしゃさんは俺はマジマ組のみんな日中にマジマ組それってあのカムロ町ヒルズ建設に絡んでる登場会の大幹部のそうよあのマジマ組 おちょっと待ったれこの曲俺の箱やなやっしゃいくでおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおいおい
あ、あのー、みなみさんでしたっけあ,あ、もうやあの、みなみさんのご用件は何なんでしょうかおお、それやそれこの店にリリって女がおるって聞いてな。なんや、えらいピッピンさんらしいやないか。そんでちょっと指名したらなあかん思うでな。リリですか。申し訳ありませんが、彼女は本日をもって店を退店しました。あ,あなやだ<笑><笑>そら困るわ。彼女に何かご用ですかそう俺も親父からその女連れてこい言われただけやからな親父親父ってあの真島さんに。Alright! Let's do this! せやからリリって女の言わせ What do you guys think of his singing? お客様、申し訳ありません。We do a little trolling. いただけないようでしたら、実力行使ということになりますね。Love the sound of the mic just popping in. Oh, hey. Range, God damn. Okay, we do a little、uh, juggling, I guess. Yeah, I, I really do think this guy is a wasted character. Could have easily had him be part of the Majima family in later games. They bring back Nishida. No hate to Nishida, but like, this guy is right there just begging to be used. Could have had him be part of the Majima construction, you know, do something with him. Here we go. Woo! Nice. Here's a question. Where do we draw the line between a wasted character and a plain bad character? Is Morinaga a wasted character or a bad character? <laughs> uh oh. Can I grab him at this point? Yes. Morinaga was both a bad character. <laughs> no!
Nice. Yeah, because once cast is on the develop. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is. God, the amount of characters we could talk about with that topic is insane. Here we go, fellas! <laughs> oh, Saejima. <clears throat> we can't get any heals because, you know, we start in prison, so... Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see how this one goes. Oh, we can save right before the long battle, at least. There he is. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same room they use in Yakuza 7 for that prison segment. Yeah, Emperor. God, look at how slow he is. <laughs> uh, massive fire, though. Love this truck. Chat, be optimistic. We're gonna do this first try and watch. Oh, I was just getting to the good part. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> Coming soon. I think it is, yeah, Inji. Yeah, they did say 8 is going to be the biggest game. Uh, that could be concerning, but at the same time, we'll see. 5 is widely considered to be one of the best games, despite, you know, focusing on uh, quantity. Here's the plan, chat. Write this down. Watch. And right. <laughs> you got that down? And then we leave. Is this a unique face? See that guy in the corner? Uh... Maybe, yeah. Uh... The only way for 8 to be better than 5 is if Haruka is a playable character again. <laughs> what if Kamiyama is playable in 8? Okay, this part might be rough. Uh. No, 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 no! The grabber! I hate him so much! Die! Okay, nice. Damn.
Any advice on Yakuza content creation or content creation in general? Something another content creator I saw say Don't make content creation your plan A. Make it a plan B. Like Um I don't know if you're studying already Um and you're just doing content creation on the side as a hobby. That that works, or if you have a job and you're doing content creation as a hobby as well, that also works. But if you rely from the get-go on content creation, that's not going to go well. Um, what else was I going to say? In my case, I started uploading videos technically in 2007, but I started doing, a bit, started doing it a bit more seriously in 2014. At the time, I was still in school. Um, and I just kept doing stuff until, um, well, just over time, really. And then things just kind of started picking up. Um... F like, try to find your niche, if you will. Try to find something that only you can do, no one else does, if possible, and do it. At the time... <laughs> Almost no one uploaded the Akaza videos. Like, you had a few channels, like... Captain Epic 3... Uh... KH at subs, which... Is Captain Epics. And I think you had Strike Ranges, which uploaded uh, cutscenes mainly, and sub-stories. Um... You had the Patrick... Jimmy Cubals... They all, like... They, they had... They all had different things. And I just started uploading... Different stuff of Yakuza, like fights, sub-stories, like, from, from time to time, parodies and edits. And... Now I'm here. Um... And also, eventually, I... Started using my voice, and then my webcam. Like... There's a lot of these little things... You... Um... Uh, Start to do, that will set your channel, um, apart from others. Hala alaykum as salam Khalid. Hana wa afiya, mo hana wa afiya. Ma tshuf shar inshaAllah. Is this on Legend hard or hard like 3? This is on Legend. Mm. Where is his bolt? Yeah, where is his bolt? Excitement level for the man who raised his name? I'm... How do I say it? Cautiously optimistic, I guess. I don't know what to expect out of it, but I'm sure it's gonna be fun. Yo, Salvi, welcome. What about you guys? Yo, Salmon, thank you for the three months. Thank you! You've been with us a whole three months. Probably more, because, you know... That's just the membership thing. But thank you, thank you. Okay, I think now he'll make it. What else? Oh yeah, uh, going back to the content creation thing. Start small with equipment. Don't get, like, all this high-end stuff. By the way, this microphone of mine isn't, like, top-of-the-shelf high-end. There's a microphone called the Shure... Thank you, thank you, Salmon. There's a mic called the Shure SM7B. That's the one, like, pretty much every big YouTuber and streamer uses. I was thinking of getting that one, but that one is pretty expensive. Like, $500. I got the budget version of that, which is still very good. This is the Shure MV7 for 250 give or take. So, like, half the price. But if you're starting out, I think a lot of mics new streamers get is the Blue Yeti. And you also have this blue snowball, I think it was called. 
there's a lot of uh, easy picks. For the webcam, I think one that I always see mentioned is the, what was it, Logitech C920? Yeah, monies. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have gotten that one to be done with it. Because if I got that, I wouldn't need to get a new mic ever. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, I heard comparisons. The difference really wasn't that much. Um, and that's coming from someone who's a bit of an audiophile. Like, a l little details in mics and audio, I can tell, but... I remember when I first got this mic and I showed people a sample of the old mic and this new mic. A lot of people in the chat said, hmm, I don't hear the difference. Uh, here we go. Love this ambience. Wish me luck! <laughs> Da -da, no, 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 no. Okay, let's hope the heel is right behind us. Sh there should be one. Yes. Da -da, da -da. Okay, how do we approach this? There's someone there. We could do it like. No! I was hoping someone would jump with their baton so I can grab them after that. I'm gonna try to play it safe like this. No. Why? I hate it so much. As soon as they start an animation... Oh, you're grabbing? Fuck you. You're not gonna be able to do that. Again. <laughs> Okay, I should take it a bit more slow. Okay. No! How did that not work? Oh yeah, I took the heal already. No! <laughs> Someone grabbed the baton. Oh boy. No! Why did he do an animation? God damn it! This simple thing. Oh, okay. One more. Listen close, listen close. He's it sounds like he's saying Ursia. He speaks English like Rikia. Got him. Okay. So far, so good. Keyword, so far. <laughs> this next room is also a bit rough because they do have weapons. No! No! Oh. Can I grab? No! Oh, the grabs are so scuffed in this game. Oh my god. Suzuki. 
All right, one guy down. Uh oh. Red HP. Here we are. <laughs> We have one heal. One heal! I think we're gonna find one soon. I hope so, at least. Out of the four characters, which one do you think is gonna be easy? Well, Akiyama wasn't too bad, but I think Kiryu might be the easiest. We'll see, though. He has a lot of upgrades uh, from the get-go. Okay, Saito time. I probably will have to heal now. There should be another heal up ahead. Here we go! <laughs> uh. I can just barely grab him, I guess. Let me heal. Nice! <laughs> The iframes, dude. Please work. Uh oh. Ooh, dodge, Saitama. He tracks with it. <laughs> Oh, the dodge. Nice one. No! Saijima, please pay attention. We can uh, probably try to bait another jumping attack and then we do the... How did that not hit? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, maybe we do this and we just... Not go all in. Good thing he has a long recovery animation from that, so we can comfortably, like, do that. Or we can try that too, yeah, we'll see. Do the jump. Good boy. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, uh... Jump! Hopefully, we can do wall bounds if, we, if we're lucky enough. Okay! I love this quick time event. Look at them. You should have done Yakuza 3 without upgrades. Looks like someone is not subscribed to the channel. You wanna fix that? Do it. Hit that subscribe button right now. Before you say something like that again. Do it. Do it! Come on, do the jump attack. No, I... Uh, I didn't dodge. There we go. There... <laughs> Oh, you are subscribed? Okay. Hit that bell button. I think that might fix it. I think. I mean, YouTube is scuffed anyway for notifications, so...
For all we know, you might be subbed, you might also have the bell button clicked, but YouTube will do its thing. <laughs> what the Hamazaki doing? You think he's looking there for some duck? Wait, hold on. Boys! What? Saijima, come on, I know you're level one, but... The exit's over there, he said. Mm, beautiful. Hey guys, only 2.3% of viewers are subscribed. You want to fix that? <laughs> Oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. Okay. I hope I get used to the timing. Oh! He, okay, he somehow missed. I need to miss this time. We have a grabber, oh boy. Sajima behind you! <laughs> I hate the grabber so much, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Akiyama could throw enemies and he wasn't like the big guy. Okay, this guy is gonna be annoying. Perfectly timed, holy shit. No! How could he hit through the gates? Okay, I have a plan. I just hope it's actually gonna work. Did I have any more heals? <laughs> no, I didn't. There we go. Go, Hamanzaki, go! Go! Yeah, eat shit. Question is, are we gonna be able to do it? <laughs> yeah, so before I got that heal in the back, I wanted to get rid of the sniper first, because obvious reasons. Okay. I don't think we can break that gate without them intervening, so...
No! First game over. This actually could have gone pretty well, but... This very bit at the end. Oh, fellas. Wait, did that say? Okay. I saw chapter one and I got scared for a bit. Favorite Rockstar game? Probably Manhunt. Do, no, 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 do, do. Okay, gotta be more careful now. Yeah, this is on Legend. I had to block. If I didn't block, I would have gotten hit anyway. Okay, two more before we have to focus on the big guy. No! I hate grabs in this game. Oh, he has to be in an idle state. God damn it. Can I even... I'm starting to doubt it. No heat action? Hello? Oh my god. There we go, finally. We lost about the same amount of HP last time, give or take. Yo, Central, welcome. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember that herb. Mainline game that has the best combat? Hmm, Yakuza 0 maybe? Okay. I think we got to red HP here last time, so this is a, an improvement. Thank you, Big Orange. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Okay, now that we have a strat for this part, we should know. We should lose less HP than last time. Curse, yeah. Oh, that was close.
Do it. Belly flop. Do it. Do it. Nice. No. <laughs> Sajima, you okay, buddy? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh! Yo, thank you for the dragon tear, Arthur. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the family, son. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. I'm just scared of doing the grabs now because of how many times they just fell on me. What's your opinion on this song? I think it's a great song. What's chat's opinion on this song? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Arthur. Oh, there we go. Guess you could say he's behind bars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good track. Not one of my favorite long battle tracks, maybe, but it is very good. <clears throat> hey, listen, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. <laughs> There's Hamazaki. How did that not hit? Get over here. Nishimura, huh? More like Nishi dead. Stay down. What would your... Favorite long battle track be other than Material Delight. I think in this game, Solitude is the best one. Solitude in general is one of the best ones. I love it. The gun parts. This was way easier to control on the PS3, I think. But here it's pain and misery. We can try, but... Wait, what if? What if? What if? What if? What if? Just a second, fellas. Gonna see how it goes. I don't think that changes anything. It used to be way slower. This is pretty much guaranteed damage. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Here's 0 0.1 seconds to dodge before you get shot again. AKA, no time at all. What? <laughs> oh, I forgot. God, the grab- the- the fact that you can't grab them at the beginning with Saijima is so bad. Okay, we have three heals this time. Should we do the same thing we did last- I can't- there's a dodge delay, do it! This guy's a problem. Okay, gotta dodge as soon as I- I couldn't, I literally couldn't. 
Okay. No, 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 you idiot. Okay. Now we have two options. We can try to break that door, or we just get rid of the sniper, and then we get all of them. I think I'll do the, the ladder. Okay. Why does he dodge towards enemies? I'm not locking on. This is so satisfying to see. Yo, welcome, welcome. Okay, we're gonna heal. Nice. Beautiful. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there he is. Do you prefer four or five? Definitely four. What about chats? Oh, a heal. Nice. I'll take it. Curious shouldn't be too bad. There's a save right before him and he can just, you know, get to it. Even, like, assuming we die. Okay. Okay, we should probably rely on iframes. Oh god. Dude. Dude! Let me do something! <laughs> on second thought, I don't want to grab someone only for them to turn out to be a big guy kind of enemy and then I have to mash the grab button and while I do that I get attacked. That's gonna be rough. But I'm gonna use this. Okay, never mind. That doesn't give us heat anyway. Oh god. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. No, can we heat action someone else, please? Almost dead. Stomp him! Nice. He's doing the Yakuza 3 thing. Oh, nice. Double hit. Na, 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 ha, 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 ha. Hamazaki's tired. Look at him. He's EP. Yeah, it's funny how grapp grapplers ruin more than any other enemy type. They grab you, that means five other enemies attack you at the same time. Look at him. Ooh. Here we go, we have two heals. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll try Rezzy, I suppose. Okay, we have a gun guy. If we take him out...
Saito is stuck. Give me that. Come on. I think we can use this, but it's gonna be risky because he attacks so often. No. Just like that. Honestly. Should probably throw it. Come on. No. I hate when he dodges towards enemies like that. It's like a sharp turn, too. Like, you want to dodge to the side, and he's like, go to the enemy. Like that, but thankfully iframe saved us there. Come on. Do it. Thank you, Saijima. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. We'll just watch this because it's worth it. Oh! Favorite music theme in four? That isn't for faith. Rebellions, maybe? I really like Rebellions. Even though... No, wait. Smile Venomously is really good as well. Alright, here we go. Trails series from your recommendation. A few hours in the sky, already enjoying it. Huge fan of long winning games. Nice, glad to hear that. Yeah. The Trails games are really fun. Um, I think maybe they... What's the word? Deviate a little bit towards the, the later games, but the Sky games are so good. I love them. Uh, I think so, Bigfoot. No, 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 no. So How long were you in for? Uh oh. It was because of Haruka. Uh oh. Haruka? Uh, you, uh, saw that, huh? <laughs> oh, Saijiba. Okay, let's see how this goes, I guess. I think he only target drops if he has red heat. Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> Got 
Can I? Yes. Pretty much no. Uh oh. I think on normal, there is heals here, but we're not playing normal. Uh oh! Now he's gonna do it. <laughs> no grabs. <laughs> he did it! I should probably heal. Now I'll use this. Nice. Okay, no heat. Any second now for the... I think it's... There we go. Look at this face on Saejima. <laughs> Pure terror and shock. How did Saito go? We died once, but it was good overall. I, I'm glad uh, knocking him down takes away all the heat, because if he kept the red heat, we, that might have been a problem. Okay, who's ready for the most exciting part of the game now? Dodging cops. <laughs> Oh boy. The 25 year vacuum. You mean dodging the cops? Ah. Eh. Yeah, welcome. Okay, uh, we can just take a taxi, probably. Oh, we should also probably buy, uh... 1,000? God damn! I think on normal he has, um... How much was it? 10,000. I think I can just barely get the sake. You know, I should probably go to, um... Naomi's palace to get some money. 100 yen? I'm missing 100 yen. Yeah, we're going to Naomi's palace. How did Saijima get into the plane? We don't ask those questions. Wait, how much is it gonna cost? 7, 10, no. We're walking. <laughs> Oh, and hard as well, I see. Yeah, Legend removes money. You're more poor in Legend. Uh-oh, police! Thankfully, we can just go here. Okay. I'm probably gonna save some of them for the other characters. Kiryu might not need these, but Saijima will. Mm, I'll take a couple more. And I'll sell them. Yeah, it's Bob, our boy. And now we go to Ibisu.
just finishing five as we speak. Damn, what a marathon that game is. Yeah, hope you're having fun with it. Bobby boy, Bob. A uh, small detail, by the way, but I really do love how Saijima commentates on like every shop he goes into, comparing it to you know 25 years ago, or 18. Okay, we're selling this, this. That'll be more than enough. The Saijima part was a bit painful. Oh, tell me all about it. Tell me, tell me. I want to hear it. Come on. The Saijima part is my absolute favorite part in the whole series. Come on. I want to hear it. Yo, pretty good song there. No, not that actually. These are good enough, I feel like. Do people generally like or dislike the story in 4 overall? Other than that plot twist, I can't tell if people legit hate the story for it or if it's just memes. I think most of the time it's memes. Like... Hate is a strong word. Um, even for Yakuza 5, I don't know if I'd say I hate the story, and that's my least favorite Yakuza game. The story of 4 is funny. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's just funny. Wait, did I get the sake? Oh god. Okay, we're going there, back there anyway, so... Kinda liked Saijima's part in 5, but I am into slow burners. Yeah, fair enough. To each their own and all that. Uh, okay, I should discard something. What should I discard, though? I mean, I'm probably not gonna use weapons, so... Yeah, that being said, though, for any given game, really, that includes masterpieces like Yakuza 0, the Judgment games. Even those, you will have people that actually full-on hate them in, like, a serious, you know, aspect of the word. I've seen people who say, oh, Yakuza 0 actually sucks. Even though 0 is arguably what got the series to where it is right now. 0 is generally considered to be one of the best Yakuza games. But you'll have people, because they have, like, this nostalgia bias or whatever, they'll tell you, like, Oh, Yakuza 0 fucking sucks. I don't know how people like that game. And those are the same people who usually will, like, tell you, Oh, Original 1 and 2 are the best. And, like, I love Original 1 and 2 as well. 1 especially. But 0 isn't a shit game. <laughs> Let's be real. Zero doesn't suck, the fans are just annoying. I mean, aren't we having the same song and dance for original Yakuza 1 now? With 10 years in the joint? Man, 10 years in the joint isn't even funny. I guess Yakuza 1 sucks. I don't know, like, with memes in general, with that kind of stuff... You'll eventually come across something that is... That becomes very old to hear, and, you know... It is just how it is. How many times have I seen the 10 years in the joint meme going around on YouTube? How many people were memeing on it? And then... Oh, I think t the 10 years in the joint meme is not that funny after all. <laughs> it happens every single time a meme pops up. Literally every time. It doesn't change. There was the Dummy Dunny. There was Nugget. There was... Kiryu-chan. And here we are with 10 years in the joint. It's just an endless cycle. Yeah. <sighs> Saichima. <laughs> Personal space, man. Come on. Ta -da 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 
Maybe I should have saved. This isn't hard, but like... Damn. Whoa! Dude, give me the bottle already, holy. Even in chases, this guy heals. Oh, and he dodges. What a beast. Look at how he's pushing the bottle. <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> Look at him go, god damn. Uh... Oh. Hey, Troller, welcome. Or should I say, hello, Mr. Big Floppa profile picture. Mm. Fellas, can we have a Floppa in the chat? Yeah. Members? Members, please? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can see the flop, but don't worry. Okay, following Kido to an underground hideout. Did you save? I don't think I did. We'll do it now. Yeah, Kido is a very good runner. <laughs> Thank you, ghost. Mm. Yo, thank you for the eight months, Jade. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so... Did we have to talk to him again? Is this the part where we talk to the construction guy, or not yet? Oh, that's a sub-story, right. <laughs> oh, right, this. Oh, yeah. Look at the way Saijo was running. <laughs> Do trainings count or not? Um, yeah, we try not to get them. This trainer right here. Can we do don't help? Oh, okay. The illusion of choice. I see. You're gonna help him whether you like it or not. Wanna take a swim? I'm good. I'm good. I can take these guys for a swim, though. Higashi. Hey, 
Okay, even without upgrades, we never got to hear the climax of the song, so I'm gonna wait it out. Let's hear it. Why is it a good song? <laughs> Yo, Max, how you doing? Yeah, I really like Massive Fire. Alright. I think we find the homeless guy somewhere around here. Which one of the Yakuza 4 battle themes is you guys' favorite? All of them are so good, it's so hard for me to pick as well. Uh, I think I'd pick either Saijima's or Akiyama's though. Speedstar or uh, Massifier. Those two might be my t uh, two top favorites in, the in this game. Speedstar. Speedstar. That's a lot of Speedstars, goddamn. Mm hmm. <laughs> If I had to pick one, I might actually go with Massive Fire. Oh shit! Who is the hottest Yakuza protagonist and why is it Akiyama? BTW Yakuza plot can be funny a lot of times, but remember, this game was made by Japanese who love weird plots. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, uh, Central. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um... Wait, let me see that again. Yeah, who is the most attractive Yakuza protag, guys? What program do you use to edit your videos? No, it's not free. I use uh, Vegas Pro. But honestly, I'm kind of starting to not like it. Well, I say starting, but it's been... Happening for a while. Um, it crashes a lot, especially on big videos. <laughs> does Zhao count? Oh, yes, he does. Yakuza 7 uh, party members all count. Technically, they are, they are all pro tags. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys with this scene. I'll be back. Oh, Saijima, you shouldn't have done that. Can't a man shit in peace? Ah. People these days, I tell you. Okay, now I think we go around there. That guy's face traumatized me as a kid. 
You might be wondering, wait, as a kid, Yakuza 4 came out recently. No. Technically, the first release of this game is 13 years ago. With the Holy shit, I feel old. Oh my god. So yeah, 13 years ago, I was 13. I promise, I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell anyone. Uh oh. Yeah, Yakuza 4 is 13 years old. Can you believe that? That's insane to me, because it feels it was like yesterday that a game like yeah, like Resident Evil 1 was like 15 years ago, but no, Resident Evil 1 is almost 30 years ago now. Ugh. Time flies. Time really flies. Dude! That fucking bottle. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, can you believe 2010 was 13 years ago? Dude, stop it with the shitty... Couldn't grab him because he started the animation. Beautiful. Oh, he has way more HP than I thought he does. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Watch. The crunch. God damn. Yeah. Now that is something Saijima would do. <laughs> can you believe 10 years ago you were 10 years younger? I can hardly believe it. Man, I love the Flyers' heat action so much. And then the nails. The baby that we named in that finale substory is 13 years old. Yeah. Soon, Yakuza 4 will, will be older than Saijima being in prison. True. Okay, so the next fight can be annoying, even when you're upgraded, but we'll see how it goes. Because out of nowhere, he will trigger hyper armor and a stun. And then he will do a heat action on you. Though I think you can use heals in this fight, so... What Yakuza is this? Looks like Judgment gameplay. It is Judgment gameplay. Good, uh, observation. <clears throat> um... Yo. Yo, it's him! <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Can't believe that'll be played. I'll be able to play Ishin in a few. Yo. Yeah, nice, but also. Ouch. <laughs> Definitely gonna save it here. And, and, and. Watch this. You ready to end the Coliseum? I'm broke. Watch his face, okay? Watch. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. 
Look close. <laughs> he goes through his entire fucking emotional roaster, or like every given emotion, before he actually says something. <laughs> Ten thousand, baby, for free. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you win the tournament, you get no money, so this should be the least that you get. Did you see that the Kabakichi sign is blue now? Oh yeah, someone said that earlier. I saved, right? I think I saved. Rebellions. Oh, I should have healed. Heat already? There it is. Oh, that takes a lot of HP. I definitely should have healed before this. Not fair. Or they should have taken me to full HP at least. No, 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 no. The least they could have done is had the co like, they could have had the common courtesy to take me to full HP if they're not gonna allow me to heal. Come on, Yakuza 4. But yeah, that stun is... ...annoying sometimes, because you just can't do anything about it. Okay. Almost full, I'll take it. I'm broke. Charging it for longer is actually good, because he will unblock and try to do a move. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, are some people seeing Legend for the first time? <laughs> Quick time event soon. There we go. He's like, psych! <laughs> Then he does that speech. <sighs> Oath of Brotherhood. You mean avoiding the cops? No. Look at the smile on his face now. God. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta zoom in on this. Look at it. <laughs> He's super happy. Da, da, da. Uh, no, I didn't play Shenmue, but I heard a lot about it. The fl yeah, the florist has more more emotion in these like few seconds than he did in the entire series. Here's an example of a wasted character, Sasai. Yeah. 
Shows up, gets a hug from Saijima, never shows up again. Like, not even flashbacks. I think it would have been nice. Oh, Whiskey and Rhapsody. He's ready to hear this for the next 15 minutes while we dodge cops. Yo, thank you for the dragon tear, Sean T. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, buddy, welcome. Good to have you be a part of the family. This team always felt so uncanny. Definitely, yeah. No, Sadachi! Stay away! No! Fellas, another example of choice is an illusion. Or the illusion of choice. Decline? Guess what? You're coming in uh, either way. <sighs> this is on Legend. It's been so unbelievably long since I actually played this minigame. I think it's just because I locked this minigame like, in the back of my mind. Just kept it there, never went back to it. Never wanted to go back to it. Just because I would replay the game all the time. And seeing these forest segments always annoyed me. Oh, no, no, no. Same Tic Tacs. Uh-oh. Police? Look, literally tunnel vision. Uh-oh. I'm about to eat my own words, aren't I? True neon. Watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna impart some knowledge to you. Listen well. The earth is turning even as we speak. Yes, sir! It's okay to cry. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Make sure to save for retirement. Yes, sir. Old calendars can be used. Wait a few years. <laughs> oh, hello it. It's okay to cry. That's what I tell myself when I... Uh... Uh, when I... Yeah, when I... When I... When I... Hey, Kamiyama! He escaped prison too. How do you guys think he did it? Did he make another hook? Lift himself up while Saijima and Tamazaki were... Doing their thing? He looked at them from afar and was like, Oh, shit! It's my turn. And then he just did it. Landed on Kiryu's beach as well. Kiryu helped him out. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. Fellas, which part is more boring? This? Or Akiyama's hostess maker. Ooh, hostess maker is winning by landslide. <laughs> God damn. Oh, someone said this, finally. By the way, I, I don't... I'm not sure myself. 
Like, the hostess maker can be skipped, and technically it does take less time than this. But, yeah. Uh... Oh, look! I was gonna say it's Sayama, but no, I didn't... I, I thought she didn't have glasses, so never mind. Wait, the way she looks at you, goddamn. Look. Lady? Holy! Look at the way she turns her neck. I can almost hear the crack. God damn. <laughs> Into slime, you know. Min zaman ma dhan andana. Anta min wain? Okay, when I'm. Ayala. Ma dhan andakum ala lahin? Speaking of uh, spooky. Uh, what was I gonna say? Who in the chat likes watching spooky YouTube videos? And what kind of spooky YouTube videos? Could it be like spooky horror games, could be like urban legend videos, could be true story videos, anything. I've been watching a lot of that recently. Uh, more, more specifically, I've been watching uh, Hori Kenshin's Spooky Scary Sunday stuff. Love it! It's so entertaining. Anyone else? <laughs> My god, talk about a detour. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Look who it is. Have you seen Arabic ghost hunting videos and are they accurate? Like, I didn't personally sit down to watch them, but like, I used to see my relatives or like brothers watch those when I was passing uh, by them. I think a lot of them are just, you know, same thing as you see in Europe or the US where it's just, um, it's all acting. Um, but, 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 I will say this. Um, there is something that we believe in, in the Middle East, generally speaking. We believe in these creatures called, uh, Jinn. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. And, w like, if you were to ask me, okay, prove to me that they're real, I can't, but... Um, it's just the kind of thing you hear about for a while, and you yourself might see or feel the presence of. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just something that's been part of, like, like Arabic culture for forever, really. Uh, like yokai? I guess so, but I, I, yeah, I guess it's not too far away from that. <laughs> Alamas can help. Uh, um, it's not demons. No, it's more like not even spirits, but I guess it's closer to spirits. Um. Okay, back to it. Wait, did I save? Oh, I can't... Okay, I can't even go in. Mm, looks like the chance to save has went away, fellas. I think we'll be able to save before we go into the Millennium Tower, actually. 
Which Yakuza game would you speedrun? Good question. I don't know. Maybe Yakuza 1 original? I just find that game so fun to replay. Mm. Why is there no Whiskey Rhapsody? Is it bugged? Um... Is my game haunted? Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Fellas, what if I get to this rooftop and it plays nervousness instead? Wouldn't that be spooky? Wrong soundtrack game, but I'll take it. I love nervousness. <laughs> Playing Yakuza 4 at 3 a.m. Gone wrong. Gone spooky. Should have played nervousness here instead, honestly. Yeah, I would take it. I think another good location or heart for that song is when Kiryu looks for Yasuko. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it should play here, no? It feels wrong, hearing nothing. I'm telling you, it is supposed to play here. Yeah, Neon. Rate this guy's drip. I give him a... 8 out of 10. These early 1 to 4 Yakuza games feel eerie to me sometimes. Hmm. 200 out of 10. <laughs> Giga chat out of 10. Here we go! Oh, this one might be tricky, but then again, we do have a lot of heals now, so we are ready for it. Okay, we should be able to save. Did he mention Millennium Tower? Do you think Yakuza has liminal spaces? I think so. Maybe. Here we go! This part with upgrades can be annoying. So, uh... God help me. <laughs> I need to kill that grabber. This guy. You no! See what grabbers do in this game? <laughs> oh my... He's not dead yet. Okay, something we can do is this. Nope. Oh, of course, the bench just had to ruin it. Mm. 
playing Ishin Kiwami and it's pretty difficult. Yeah, it is. No, heat, dude. There we go. Uh oh, grabber. The blonde guy. No! It's like you have the autobiography equipped. Uh oh. I'm surprised it reopens or anyone wants to work there. Yeah. Maybe people who work here are paid the big bucks. So it's hard for them to say no. Fellas, if you were paid $3,000 a month to be a cleaner at the Millennium Tower, would you do it? Knowing full well this tower explodes like every other month. And stuff like this happens in it. <laughs> Yes! Uh-oh. There's a grabber. Please. Almost dead. Hell no! Okay, real question though, is $3,000 a month for being a cleaner a lot in your country or no? A lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yes, it's a lot. Same here, yeah. Like, my dad gets paid less than a thousand and two hundred, and he's a translator. <laughs> so... Do you see how hunched his back was? Oh, he's dead. We can't see it anymore. But he legit had that one pose that I, that we showed last time in Yakuza 3, like... Like that. Uh, those... Those guys are something. Looking at them makes my back hurt. company i mean yeah like I, I think being a translator is very good because you could be taken in almost any kind of company because you're at the end of the day your job is not to worry about technicalities of a thing your job is just to translate something from one language to another um when i studied translation they gave us a lot of different kinds of uh translation subjects we had um Scientific translation, literary translation. I think we also had... No, we didn't have medical translation. There was legal translation. There was, like, you know, a lot of these different fields. So... Um... The good thing about being a translator 
is whenever you you're hired at a new place, you'll learn a lot about that field. Which is, you know, it's good. Okay, three mini bosses. Look at the heat drain, goddamn. No, Saijima, why? Wait, Leon is Arabic? Who told them? Who let my secret out? Uh, y yes, Neon, and also the other way around. No. Okay. There we go. Can an art major work in translation? I think so. Arts. People in the College of Arts here. If like, if you're also. It depends on your like major and minor as well. How common is English in Bahrain? Pretty common, actually. It's considered a second language. If you know English and you don't know Arabic, you can get by. Does this count as an upgrade? Wait, you mean the level up? No? We talked about that in the, be in the beginning. Levels is something we can't help. We'll get extra health and heat bars, but that's about it. A lot of the good stuff we still can't have. Oh, you were talking about the heat upgrade, okay. No? I mean, it's not like I went to the menu to get it. But then again, you could say the same about revelations. But that's stuff you go out of your way to get by talking to a certain NPC that is made to give you specific moves. Yo, nice counter. God damn. I don't know if I saw that before. Yeah, I think someone mentioned that before, Jets. That's crazy. Oh shit, he did it! So for those who don't know, this is a... an optional quick time event. It's RNG. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It's the exact same one that Akiyama gets, but it's changed up to be more fitting for Saijima. Uh-oh. I think IT as a job is good anywhere, really. Kind of like translation. Say it with him, chat. Maha! Maha! He sounds like Mickey Mouse almost. Yeah, we never see Minami again. He got bodied again. Um. Is that why you're English? I mean, I just surrounded myself with English ever since I was small. Used the internet, played games in English.
Much of Can I? Yes, I can. Da, 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 da. Nice. Nice. Ugh. Nice, Neon. Where are you from? Can dodge. There we go. I should probably take those heals. Uh oh, uh oh. Eh? Yeah, thankfully, I feel like people have more of an open mind now, but man. Uh oh. It feels like it was just yesterday when games had a reputation of being, oh, they destroy our children's minds. When in reality, I know English because of video games. I don't think I can grab him in that state. Come on. Yeah, I can't. Uh oh. Couldn't dodge in time. Is he gonna do it now? No, not yet. Oh, there it is. Majima, holy shit, relax, dude. God damn. The wall bones are crazy. <laughs> the iframes that he has are insane. They're insane. Might be best if I just do this, honestly. It's so weird how this quick time event is RNG. When I played on the PS3, it always happened consistently. <laughs> nice, Owen. Blasted iframes. Part two complete. I still wonder if we're gonna get the same thing as the Yakuza three, where we're like, oh, this is this is a breeze so far, and then there's a fight we're stuck on for like three hours. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Leon, I thought you weren't gonna use upgrades. Why is your health bar long? You beat someone, you get XP. He can't block it. Mm -hmm. 
Listen, listen to the rain. I don't know if I want to stay in big cities. Same. Uh, whenever I get to, like, the capital or anywhere near it, really, I, uh, I get sick to my stomach. Okay, well, maybe not that bad, but just, like, urban, crowded areas I, I feel uncomfortable in. Masayoshi Tanimura. Tanimura fans, where are you at? Mm, the camera to parasite. All right, you guys have fun watching him getting getting a scolding. I'll be back in a bit. ホトケの顔にお前の指紋がべったりくっついていた。死体に素手で触れるデカがいるが普通。おいてめえ。俺の話聞いてんのか。聞いてんのか聞いてんだ。よし。来い。なんだお前。こいつ。何聞いてあん
Do you like Tenimura's auto combos into heat actions? Oh yeah, I think they're a great mechanic for Tenimura. Definitely makes him feel more unique compared to the others. The reason I think Tanimura just plays way better than Shinada is because he has something like that, which is really fun. Um, and with Shinada, they tried to make him this weapon master. That That's like what sets him apart and what makes him special, different from any, uh, everybody else. But just the idea of reliance on weapons is... is here, here's what I mean to say. Something like what Yakuza 0 did, where Majima had a weapon-based style, but he has a default version of, like, or a base weapon, like, built into the style. That's, that's great. That makes the style much more fun to use. Uh, you don't have to worry about durability, you don't have to worry about anything. You can get the most out of that style just using the base weapon. And if you want to use base, uh, you, if you want to use different weapons, they will have durability, but, you know, you can use it if you want to. Um, oh yeah, another thing about Shinada, the grappling. I'd argue Tanimura does the grappling way better than Shinada does. The thing about grappling with Shinada, good luck <laughs> being successful with that, because if you do it, guess what? Enemies just break free most of the time. Or at least a lot of the, a lot of the time. And if street enemies break free so easily, then... Yeah, good luck with bosses. Again, not saying it's impossible to use, like, grabs with Shinada, but holy crap, dude, it sucks. And the good thing about Tanimura is, even though he has more in-depth grabs compared to the other protags, that's not the only thing that sets him apart outside of, you know, relying on weapons. He also has um, the rush combos chaining into, you know, heat actions. And just his heat actions, uh, sorry, his... Um, what was I going to say? His rush combos, he has more rush combos, first of all. They feel better to use. And he also has the parry, which he can play around with. And he can just do more with. Shinara's one single, like, counter slash parry sucks ass as well. <laughs> which uh, you have to, I think, learn from his uh, training master. What about Shinada's sword and the pipe with infinite durability? The, the pipe is fine, but the thing about him is I'm pretty sure he has unique animations with pretty much every single weapon and not just the pipe. The pipe is fun to use, but you can't do much with it as well. Like, here's the thing about Majima's slugger style again. That has actual rush combos, and not just, you know, square combos. It has um, unique heat actions, multiple ones. Uh, what else does it have? It has proper counters that actually work. Even though, I'll say they're a bit situational. I think one counter for Slugger requires you to be in third gear mode. Uh, but it's still, it, it's functional, and it works. Um, and it's just way more fun to use. All right, so let's... I could have sworn I saw a bug. Hold on. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe all these no-upgrade runs are finally getting to me. Victory Road speedrun. <laughs> I'm good. Last time we did that legit. I think we... We didn't even... Did we read stuff when we did that last time? I don't know. I'm good. It's so unfun. Like, most of you probably already know this, but for those who don't, I'll talk about it again. One of the main reasons I don't like Yakuza 5, well, maybe saying one of the main reasons is a bit too much, but definitely one of the reasons I don't like Yakuza 5 is because they took the underground Colosseum and said, you know what, instead of having that being accessible from the get-go, let's have you do this entire fucking questline as every single character, if you want to... Man, I... I feel pissed just thinking about it. <laughs> Next is Yo, thank you for the super chat, Ricky. Thank you, thank you. See, that's the definition of adding content just for the sake of adding content. There was no reason for them to do that. Absolutely no reason. 
Other than, you know, oh, here's more content. You want to get to the Coliseum this time? Guess what? How long was it again? Like, five to ten hour fucking... Stream? Just trying to... Uh, get the victory road for everybody? I don't know. Come on, buddy. Look at that! And the fact that I can do that as well... I just love it. Yeah, and you can clearly tell that there is an imbalance with characters in Yakuza 5 because of the Coliseum. Um, obviously, you can use Akiyama and Shinada just fine, but compare that to using Saijima and Kiryu. Which one are you going to have an easier time with? The answer is obvious. Saijima has Herculean spirit. He has... His own Taiga drop in 5. He has the biggest fucking HP bar, which could almost break through your screen. Kiryu has the Taiga drop. And he's Kiryu. Do I need to say more? Shinara has a non-functional counter and... A lot of slow moves. <laughs> so good luck. Even though Akiyama has a Tiger Drop like counter, he's. I don't know. It's just not as fun. And you know, I get the point. Like, yeah, Saijim and Kiryu are supposed to be way stronger, but. Lore wise, okay, I get it. But gameplay wise, it's gonna be not fun. Look at Yakuza 4, for example. Even though Akiyama is, you know, canonically weaker than Saijima and Kiryu. He's arguably the most fun character to use him for. And I always say this, but they nerfed Akiyama in 5. You can do wall bounding in 5 like you can do uh, like, like you can do it in 4 with Akiyama. You know that infinite we usually do with Ihara? That poor guy who always fucking gets destroyed? You can do that in uh, 5. And I miss that so much. Uh, yeah, the bounding throw, again, it's just so insane. Insanely broken. I hate that Akiyama's air juggle doesn't work on bosses. Yeah... I don't mind when they have, like, heat actions that only work on goons, like, you know, the Kamaki reversals, uh, the dodge heat actions, and the dragon engine for Kiryu. But having an entire mechanic not work on bosses... I don't know, man. Bellas! Actual best cutscene in the whole game. Right, buckle up and watch this. People not say this is the best Yakuza game. Look at this. Mm. The animation, the details, the posters. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them do another cutscene like this in Yakuza 8. Ichiban is summoned to a location, and the camera just gets behind him, and you see him walk through the location for like a whole minute. 
and then on his way, Namba and Adachi make a stupid joke, and he fucking sh yells at them for it. Midori. How about Dead Souls base guns run? That is too easy. Base guns and no upgrades though, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, put that in Kamicho. God, I love this grab so much. You have so many iframes, it's insane. Is there anyone who seriously likes Yasko? Probably. Saijima likes her true, he does. I liked Lily, but not Yasko. <laughs> I would like Yasko if she got character development instead of just being used for plots. Yeah, fair enough. Who's Yasko? <laughs> we have someone in the class who wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Did I save? I'm gonna save again. Oh, wait! Oh, shit. Ugh. Well, I have heals, so let's hope uh, this is gonna go okay. Either that dodge was pathetic, or he had a huge hitbox. Man, speaking about female characters though, I'm so glad that they've been doing a better job with writing them. 
Yakuza 7 gave us so many lovable ones. This parry is, dude. <laughs> I hate this Mikoshiba grunt. Yeah. It is kind of annoying. Well, yeah. Guy sounds like he's on the toilet. Yo, the man. Pretty good. How are you? Uh, this is Material Delights, right? No? The song. Look at that! Uh-oh. Can you... Does the grab go past the counter? I was actually wondering, I wanted to test it. Oh my god. Tanimura, do you like better? I don't think there's a big enough difference, honestly. They both do the role really good. Can you, like, not? Nice. Nice! Oh look, we have an enemy called Ouchie. Let's give that to him, shall we? Hey buddy. You didn't see anything. This is on Legend. Nice. No drops here, I don't think. Yeah. Yakuza 4 was my first Yakuza game on the PS3. Nice, dude. I like how the new Tanimura sounds more aggressive in battle. Yeah. The new Tanimura has a lot of good screams. Uh oh. These little shits. <laughs> the way he teleported from like behind me to in front of me. Just because of the grab. Crazy about the whole tiny red what's the word debacle I guess. I've seen people literally fight each other about it. But I mean that's the internet. They'll fight You'll have people fucking fighting over like, oh Hyakuza 1 has better soundtrack than Kiwami 1, and that's final. If you think I'm wrong, fuck you. You suck. And you're a terrible human being. At the end of the day, this kind of thing is just like, who cares? 
I think they both do their job great. And I'm not saying that because, oh, I don't want to have an opinion because someone will say something about that. I really just don't care. <laughs> But yeah, unfortunately, I feel like you see that a lot with the Yakuza. I mean, you see it in every community, really, but Yakuza definitely has a lot of it. Uh-oh, we're stinky! Okay, we gotta get rid of this little shit. Okay, now who do I go for? This guy's almost dead, so... Okay, we can't... Dodge, because we'll slip. Buddy! No, no, you... Buddy. No, no! Baba? I just noticed. Uh oh. Hey, buddy! No! Stand still, so I can actually do the heat, the heat action, because that's how this fucking game works for some reason. There we go. You have to follow your dreams. Machine gun guy. Okay, uh, fellas, follow me. We have a grabber. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Watch. Look at the machine gun guy. He's scared. Dude, you have a gun, but, you know, I'll take it. Not complaining. God damn the spin. Okay. Now, this part might be very difficult, but we'll see. What does the community hate more, Yume or Sawa Sensei? Hate is a strong word. I think that, at least me and the people here, we just we find it funny. I like Sawa Sensei as a character, but you know, Yagami definitely says it a lot. <laughs> I don't know, I think Yume gets beamed on more. Okay, gotta heal. No, 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 stop shooting. Stop shooting! Would you, wait, would you recommend doing just the story of 5 and 6 before doing the side content? Just for time's sake? I mean, I guess so. Uh, 5 and 6 are both the kind of games where you don't really need to stop side content. I mean, you can argue five, like you do need to maybe learn a few moves from a couple of masters. Like, learning the Tiger Drop as Kiryu is really helpful in that game early on, and Saijima's counter as well. But yeah, uh, 
You can play the game however you want. She'll be fine. I love that this rush combo stuns people. Okay, watch, watch, watch! Someone's gonna die. <sighs> Least favorite female character? God, I don't know. That is such a sick quick time event though, like, man. So hardcore. Using someone as a, a body shield and then you take their sword and throw it at the shooter. Damn, Tiny Mora, are you sure you're a police officer? <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da. Look who it is. I love how Rai disappears in uh, the first part, the first chapter even, and then he shows up here, <laughs> and then Shibata gets to be a creep, and then Arai kills him for it. Good job, Arai. You gave people a reason to like you. Do -do 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 Oh, it's one of these cutscenes. The betrayal layer. <laughs> I think Sawa is my favorite female character in the series. Yeah, she's pretty awesome. I'll never understand how people defend Park. On, like, I'll say this, I, I don't really like Park, but I can see why people might like her. Whether or not she's a good person is, you know, up for debate, I'm not gonna talk about that, but... Um, in, in a way, she did kind of look out for Haruka and care for her. Uh, in a way. In a way. What way is that? That's another question, but uh, I don't know if I want to talk about that. Like, Park is, the, like, she's like that, that, like, very super strict mother kind of character, but also, I don't know. I do feel like there's definitely hints of emotional blackmail with her. Um, but yeah, you could argue so so many things about her. Okay, the actual best female character right here. Man. Uh, hot take. I hated Haruka in 3. Her whole personality goes down the drain from street savvy to dumb like a log. <laughs> uh. Yeah, N Nair's theme is one of the most unique themes ever in Yakuza. Uh oh, the sub story. Forest sub story. We love those. Park is painfully realistic. Reminds me too much of some real life parents. Yeah, th like that's the kind of character she is, I guess. And just because she's that kind of character, not everyone is gonna like her. Um. 
Okay, I looked away for a split second. Did I just see a guy walking in the air? Or was that my imagination? Shady man. No heat? Heat action, dude. Okay, I guess on the railing here. Is it weird that I like Nair's plot more than Tenimar's real story? No, I think it's... Her storyline is really nice. Like, it's very simple, but... It's uh, pretty engaging. You know, you actually do detective shit. <laughs> Someone wanted to see the taunt? One of the best taunts in the series. Yes or no? Park gave Kiryu depression. That's one of the reasons why I hate her. Man. Park will always be a subject of debate. No matter the time, the place. Do you feel like Six ruined Haruka's character? No. Well, how, like, it, it's a complicated question whenever people ask me that. Because, you know, like, I kind of blame Five for it because she definitely made things more difficult for her in Six, thanks to Five. Um... But, ha you know, having said that, Six could have tried to take that in a better direction, but I don't think it did. It's like, I'll give a very, like, far, far-fetched far example, I guess. Um, What was I going to say? Resident Evil 2 Remake. Okay, 2 Remake and 4 Remake. RE Engine Ada is the definition of manipulative like there's almost no actual love involved now go back and play original resident evil 2 and resident evil 4 there's so many moments where you could tell that he, that she actually did fall for leon and you can sense concern in her voice and her actions towards him but then play re2 remake and 4 remake and look at the difference Ada is like that in full remake because RE2 remake kind of established her as a manipulative character. So I can't blame RE4 too much about that. Two kind of started it. Yo Naz, welcome. <laughs> Was it here or there? No, I think it was there. Um, Ramadan's been okay. Sorry to hear about that, though. What do you think about Ada's voice in the RE4 remake? I think it could have been at least directed better, but, you know. I've seen... All the articles about people harassing the voice actress, and it's like, why? Just because you don't like the voice, you don't, you don't have to harass the voice actor for it. You do know that it's not like the voice actor walked up to Capcom and said, you're voicing me whether you like it or not. Someone at Capcom picks and chooses these people, and they also are responsible for hearing their lines, directing them the way they should be directed. And it's like, man, come on. I feel like even if you don't know that voice directors are a thing, 
Just think about it. Would a voice actor be able to walk up to Capcom? I don't know, like, hold them hostage? <laughs> Force them to accept her? Capcom hires these people. You know, leaving aside the title of voice director, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that's also another thing, right? Most of most of the people who do who do stuff like that are probably people who honestly just have nothing to do. And it's sad, coming from someone who's a caveman. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man, like, just instead of engaging yourself in drama, any drama, like vo voice actor drama, drama that revolves around you, drama that has to do with games, politics, anything, really, why don't you do something better for yourself? Like, I don't know, play a game. <laughs> That's already a good start. At least with games, you'll have a good time. Unless you do Yakuza 3, no upgrades, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Neon, it sucks. You know, some people give me funny looks, and they're like, Huh, you play mobile games? Well, yeah, I play mobile games. At least I don't give death threats to fucking random strangers that I never met. That's better, right? <laughs> At the very least, if I do spend on mobile games, I'm the only one who's getting harmed. And even then, what if I don't spend? I'm just having fun. Did I save? I don't think... Did I save at the hideout? I might have. If I didn't, that's fine. Oh yeah, we can't skip this at all. Alright. This scene feels like it's 10 minutes long, but it's not that long. You know, on that topic, actually, I'll go take a break a bit. I'll be back before you know it. Stay. あんたと柴田が25年前の事件で繋がっていたことは分かってる。親父はあの事件があんたと柴田の仕組んだものだということに気がつき、そのことが原因で殺されたんだ。そうだ。確かに谷村さん、あの収益事件に柴田、そして。私が関係していたことは突き止めていました。25年前のあの事件は私と柴田が書いた絵です。私はあの日のあの時間。西島大河が一人で襲撃に来ることを知っていた。ちょっと待って。確かに25年前のあの事件、あんたは被害者の一人
新井に指示して柴田を殺したそういうことかまあそういうことですねあくまで自分の犯行ではないというつもりかまあいい話を戻そう25年前俺の親父はなぜ殺される必要があったその理由を教えてもらおうあなたのお父さん谷村さんは Someone was asking me which mobile games do I like.、Um, as you guys know, Yakuza Online, King of Fighters All Star. And although I stopped playing it,、uh, at least for the time being, Fist of the North Star Legends Revive. And I recently started playing Street Fighter Duel. Wait, did mercenaries drop already? Oh my god. God. I was wondering when it was going to drop. So it's a midnight release? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't pause this.、Uh, it's supposed to be tomorrow, yeah, but it's the seventh right now, so. Saw some gameplay, looks good. Ah,、oh, dude, I can't fucking wait.、Oh. God. I don't know if it's going to be a midnight release or not, but I mean, it's an update, so. Oh, New Zealand got it, okay. KF All Star was good. Yeah, I like it as well. Because it's not just, you know, oh, here's some PNGs. There, there is actual gameplay, even if it's simple. And their collabs are. Now we just need. Um, Yakuza in King of Fighters All Star. Hunk got the insta kill? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I heard Wesker can parry with his bare hands. That would be fucking sick. Here we go. Briefcase combat. Uh oh. You know, funnily enough, I think this section isn't gonna change, even though I have no upgrades, because it's the same. This move remains king. Look at the carnage. Holy shit. Murata. Fellas, which game do we have a Murata in? Come on. Come on. Let's test that memory. Murata, from the witch family? If that's true, a resource, that would be awesome. You have something to work for. Murata, Phallus, anybody? Okay, you have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Morata from the Jinsei family in Yakuza 6, the guy Kiryu saves behind the new Serena from the Chinese Mafia, or, or well, the Sayo Triad. D -d 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 don't feel bad. It's okay. Sometimes I forget stuff too. Crazy, I know. D -d 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 Excuse me, who? Who indeed? I have zero memory of that guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe what Roxy just said would help you.、Uh, basically, you see him with Akiyama later. Okay, this next part, not this one, but one after, might be a bit of a pain. Nakajima. Isn't that the guy in five? The taxi CEO? Damn. Isn't he in like two scenes? Yes. <laughs> oh, a grabber. Too bad I have a briefcase. Look at the briefcase go! God damn, dude. Was Wesker unlocked in the Mercenaries original right away? No. So, in the original, you had to unlock each character from a stage. It all had to do with the stage. I think you had to do four stars in the village for Ada, four stars in the castle for Krauser, four stars in the island for Hunk, and four stars in the water world for Wesker. Wonder if you'll have to unlock them the same way in the remake, which I wouldn't mind. Gimme, gimme, gimme. He does, yes, Snuffy. 
Man, I hope Mercenaries is gonna have unlockables for the main campaign as well. Please. Please. No, briefcase! Fuck. What am I without my briefcase? I am nothing. Nay, I'm less than nothing. Oh, nice. I didn't think that would work. Sweet. My briefcase. Man, up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have one of these bitches. Uh-oh. Fellas, we lost the real one today. The... The name of the blue Z leader. What was it again? Was it Sota? Not Shota. Sota. Was it? Hmm... Yo, yeah, Wander, welcome. Good, good, how are you? Oh, wait, was it Auta, maybe? A-O... Oh, okay, okay, look, look, look. I swear to you. I thought of the name before you said it. I swear. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Okay, this guy's gonna be annoying. Can he die already, sword guy? Thank you. Oh, he's angry. Sweet, okay, okay. This is good, this is good. T uh, why are you as stupid as Akiyama? Why do you use a sword like that? Yo, Shin Megami Tensei Enjoyer, thank you for the seven months! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah... I never work night shifts, but it does sound rough. Welcome, buddy, welcome. Three hits before we got to the main place. Sick. Hey, Chad and Leon, what's your three favorite heat actions? Very good question. I think one of them has to go to Yakuza Zero Majima in Thug style, the neck break. Specifically the one where he dodges behind them and then neck breaks them. Uh, what else? Uh, God, there's a lot of good ones. Oh! Bonk! Gonna do Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries? I will, as soon as I get it. Well, not as soon as I get it, but I'll do it sometime tomorrow. Uh, what else? Majima's neck break is so good. Um, even though it's not really heat action, it is in 4 and 5. The head press, I love it so much. I don't know why. It feels like a close and personal kind of move. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of ones that really, really like stand out to me. And like... Ones that have always had a special place in my heart. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't bring one from Lost Judgment yet, or Judgment. Uh, oh yeah, the Breaker Spin one is nice, but um, the Bike Charge, <laughs> a silly heat action. Oh yeah, the Drunken Fist is awesome, I forgot about it. I guess for the time being we can place those in top th three, but you know. When you ask me another day, it's gonna be different. You just watch. In fact, ask me now, and the answers are gonna change. Uh -oh, oh god, this chase battle. Oh, wish me luck. Wish me luck, please. I need it. I think. No! No, 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 no. Okay, good. There's a recharge, a heal. Okay, so far so good. No, don't push me. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. I think this is like the only solid way to dodge, like just do the quick turns as often as you can. Even though in the original, you didn't have to do any of that. You just run and it works. 
Okay, before we go, we have to do this. Bitch! Take this. Now I can depart in peace. Heat action tier list. I'd love to do it, but having to gather all of the images for that is gonna be hell. Probably gonna be worse than the boss tier list that I did, which had over 300 entries, I think. And I cropped all of the pictures by myself. Oh boy, so this one. Nice. Yo, Velvet, welcome, welcome. Uh-oh. Man, you know what's so good about Tiny Morris Perry? You have this annoying brass knuckle moveset, and he can still parry that shit. He can still do it. Like, oh, he's gonna do that annoying move? Guess what? He can parry that into the wall, and then do a little wall bound. Look! Just like that. Nice. Just having this ability to, like, do something about a very annoying moveset that someone like Akiyama and even Saijima can't do much about, at least not in the beginning, is amazing. Uh-oh, sword guy. Nice. Not nice. Okay, so we need a weapon, and... What is more powerful, Tenimura's briefcase or the homing briefcase from Hitman? I don't know what the homing briefcase does, so I'm just gonna go with Tenimura's. Watch that! Uh oh, look at this, look at this. Oh <laughs> Why? Like, oh my god. You could argue this parry is almost better than the tag drop. Almost. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Because, like, at the end of the day, tag drop has more precise timing, and especially with some moves, like, some moves you could start to question whether or not it's possible to tag drop them, but then look at this. Easy timing, like, less damage, but the timing is just... anyone can do it. What the? Okay. I didn't kill him. The wall did. That's how good this parry is. God, like... Stuff like this is why Tiny Mora is always gonna be more fun to me than Shinoda. Why is it when I hold R1 and X? It just saves. I don't want to save yet. God damn it. Hey, Leon. Love both Resident Evil and Yaku Yakuza. Should I get Ishin or A4 Remake? You would be the right guy to ask, because I know you had some issues with Light Ishin. Here's the thing. When is the next time you'll be able to afford a game? If it's going to be a while away, just because of the amount of content, you might want to get Ishin. Though, in terms of fun factor, honestly, might go for RE4 Remake. Like, RE4 Remake is replayable. There's a lot of, well, maybe not a lot, but there's several things to replay the game for. Um, but, you know, Asian is, like, the kind of game that, that is made to, to, like, have you lose yourself in it, and there's a shit ton of side content, and it's, you know... So, if it's gonna be a while until you can buy a game, get Asian. But if it's gonna be like, I don't know, a week or two, or even a month, a month is a lot of time to play a game like Asian. Especially if you're busy with other stuff like school or, you know. Oh, Asian is also cheaper. There you go. I should probably restock on the bentos. 
Yeah, we have three slots, but you know. Better do it now. I'm almost out of money. Question I don't understand. Why did Kiryu leave the orphanage if Park erased Haruka's past? Doesn't make sense to me. Did she erase Haruka's past? I don't know. Because Park didn't just want Haruka. Park also wanted the orphanage. That's why. She said she would take care of all of the kids. And Kiryu was a bad influence to all of them. So, uh, yeah. It wasn't just Haruka. She wanted all of the orphanage. Did you have Benta before? I did, actually. It was uh, pretty filling. Uh, just making sure, but Velvet, you're the same Velvet Lamina, right? If you are, I showcased that art that you made uh, on the last stream. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Okay. A detective's honor. More like boat chase. He has a briefcase. What a chapter indeed. <laughs> uh... No, I don't drink. There's a lot of cool bottles, though. Uh, there's the... Uh, what was it called? Was it the Hibiki? I think it was the Hibiki. They have a lot of cool bottles. I like bottles. <laughs> I know that might be weird, but... I don't know. I, I think there are people that do collect bottles. There has to be, right? Hibiki bottles are really cool looking. five resource yeah I mean it's not because I'm a Muslim we have a lot of people here who drink so uh, <laughs> um, it's not really because of that I'm not the most religious person but you know yeah I just don't like alcohol Like, you know, no offense to people who do like alcohol. I just have different What's ideas it? for uh, fun. I think alcohol is a bad one. That's just me, though. If you, like, you know... Um, if you enjoy alcohol, you do you. If I want to indulge in a drink, I don't know, coffee usually does it for me. I'm a... Co coffee turns me into a beast. Um, I used to enjoy stuff like uh, non-alcoholic malt drinks. I mean, I say I used to, like it was a lifetime ago, but... Uh, what was I going to say? Like raspberry, non-alcoholic malt is amazing. Whiskey and driving? Dude, Nostra, be careful, dude. <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, it's your life, but be careful. Seriously. Um, El Bake? Oh yeah, we have it. We do. Elbake is nice, but it's like it's really oily. And that's saying something because you know I, I like junk food. We do have a Discord server, yeah. You can find it in non uh, stream videos in the description. What 
Okay, bow chase. Oh, sorry, before bow chase. Mishima! Mishima, buddy! Oh. Come on, buddy, let's do great stuff together. And go across, go on this epic journey to take out the bad guys. Oh, what's that? He died? Um. Why do they waste characters like this? Shoes? <sighs> What's a good Bahraini meal for everyone to try for those who never tried Bahraini food? Good question. It's not Bahraini food per se, but you can't go wrong with Machbous. That's a rice dish. Maybe biryani, even though biryani isn't specifically Bahraini as well. I think you have stuff like... Wait, what the fuck is wrong with the cursor? Oh well. Uh, we have a dish called Farid, which is basically like uh, bread, but made uh, soft with seasonings and... Honestly, I'm, I'm not the best person to describe that kind of stuff, but... Farid is pretty good. Even though I don't usually eat it. So, for those who don't know, you can just spam the shoot button and he'll shoot. Always. He will rarely miss. Sugiuchi, you fucking... What if we die here? No, don't jinx yourself, Devil Leon 7. Don't do it. Sugiuchi! I think he's gonna take a sharp turn here, maybe, if I remember right. I guess not. Falafel. Falafel isn't Bahraini either. Like, it's... You see it a lot in Arabic countries, but... Uh, do we have any fellow Bahrainis in the chat? Bahraini dishes, help me! God. Yeah, this is on Legend. Whoa, oh, oh, shit. I look away for one second. That boat should be toast by now, with all these gunshots. I don't know what exactly fixed it, but I remember on the remastered version on PC, if I press slightly to the left or slightly to the right, Tanimer goes, and it's like, dude, relax. I just want to, <laughs> I want to properly drive. Help me here. I don't know if it's a silent patch that fixes that or if they actually released an update. Never understood the hate for this section. If I remember right, this in Ultimate Battles in the original on the PS3 was the I actually like one of the hardest stuff ever, ever. Like it was so annoying. Um, but when I played it on the remaster, it actually wasn't that bad. I don't know if they changed anything or if it's because I was a kid. I don't know. Uh, I'm Syrian, but how about Shawarma? Shawarma is good, but again, I don't think that's... Maybe I'm being a little too strict. Shawarma isn't Bahrain. Oh! Tikka! Tikka and Kebab! That's a good... Though technically, that's kind of, um, Iranian. But, uh, it's pretty close, I guess. Tikka. I love Tikka! Look at that intro, yeah. It's pretty good. Let's see how this boss is gonna go. Yeah, it is- oh shit. Now you can't parry. <laughs> you know, mechanics-wise, I find it really cool how he's the only one he can't parry when he gets into heat state. Fitting for, you know, the final boss for him, I guess. Imagine if Munakata did moves he couldn't parry. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Is it just me? Tanimura is one of the... I think he's the only one so far who doesn't feel noticeably slow without the combo speed upgrades. 
Yeah, unupgraded Tiny Moore is pretty good. We could just use a heat action here to deal big damage. But otherwise, yeah, he's really good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no parries. Is he gonna do it again? Yes, nice. All right. Dude, I'm telling you, Tiny Mura is... I don't get it. Like, who? I'm sorry, if you're bad as Tiny Mura, I smell and I hear a skill issue. I'm level... I'm... No upgrades. <laughs> no upgrades and he's fun to play. How... like... I, like, for the record. Tiny more... like, sorry. Uh, Saijima and Akiyama, both of them. Something about them feels missing without upgrades. But then you have Tiny Mura. You're, you're just missing heat actions for the most part. Other than that, he's still, like, super viable. Fellas, what if we were wrong? We thought Tanimura and Saijima were going to be the most difficult. What if we struggle with Kiryu the most? Or, well, Ta you know, Saijima and uh, Kiryu. Okay, you can't escape that. Nice. Okay, that should take away his heat. Oh, we had a lot of people in the beginning who were like, oh, Tiny Moore is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm definitely way more scared for Shinada than Tiny Moore. Like, Shinada is probably not going to be fun. Because here's the thing. I think for Shinada, you will need to get the bounding throws. They're upgrades, right? Are they? I can't remember that part. Holy damage. If Shinada's not gonna have the bounding throws by default, that is... a yikers. <laughs> You know why I'm not so scared about Munakata? I'll tell you. The strat doesn't change between now and if you're upgraded. All you have to do is spam grab. You can do it without upgrades and you can do it with upgrades. Um... Part 3 complete. It's him! Shinada's gonna suck, but he did a thousand sit-ups. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> We're back at the beach. The man who erased his name. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll see how curious part is going to be like. Not having the double finisher might be rough, but he starts off very quick. 
Like he has the gum the combo speed upgrade by default. How many of us like Hamazaki? Yo, thank you for the honey a tear uh Chiro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you! I really hate that Hamazaki lived, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Did RGG give any confirmation if the man who raised his name will run on the dragon engine? I don't think they did, no. I played 4 before 3, so I had no problem with him. Then I played 3, and then I was like, oh, this is why people hate this. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped that, actually. <clears throat> Hamazaki's redemption arc is kind of weird. It feels... Pretty grounded and realistic, but at the same time, what doesn't feel realistic about it is Kiryu forgiving him. So it's... I don't know. I, like, I'm conflicted about it. Because it's just, yeah, okay, you might be... you might have a good heart. But what's not to say he's not gonna come back later and threaten you or your family? Okay, so we have no heals, and I don't think we can get any heals right now. And before you go on about, oh, honor, Yakuza characters are honorable, you wouldn't get it, you fucking Middle Eastern pilot. L look, it's not about that, okay? <laughs> if someone stabs you, you will be careful next time you see them. That's all it is. I don't think it matters what culture you're from. If someone stabs you, <laughs> you're not gonna say, okay, let's shake hands over it. Yo, Judgment Kazi! We have Judgment Kazi in the chat. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, buddy? <clears throat> like, you know, I, I get the whole thing they were trying to do with Kiryu, where they wanted to humanize him more, make him, uh, uh, come off as, you know, a nice person now that he has an orphanage and all that, but, you know, I think it definitely could have been done better. And, yeah, you could make the same case with Mine. <laughs> like, yeah, Mine redeemed himself and all that, but... Mine would fucking traumatize, like, ten kids. And... Indirectly wow. killed, you know, Kiryu's... Well, I was gonna say best friend, but he killed a friend of Kiryu's. Oh, thank you, uh... <sighs> Hell yeah, thank you, thank you, Sensual. Okay, Saito's back. We have no heals, let's hope this goes well. Uh-oh. Oh, I have the double dodge, sick. Okay, listen, 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 uh, look, I'm level one, okay? I know what you're thinking. Leon, expose, look at these upgrades that you... That you have, look! Mr... We're gonna expose you on my, on my channel, look. Kiryu is just that good in this game, okay? He starts with upgrades. That's just how it is. You're like, oh, you shouldn't have upgrades? Well, Kiryu's like, fuck you, I'm Kiryu. And that's just how it is. Oh, what's that? You have the stomp upgrade? Listen! Kiryu did it, not me. I probably mentioned it before, but man, one of the reasons I love, or one of the things that I love about Yakuza, even though it's like a super small detail, they save Kiryu for last, even though he's not the main focus of the game. 
And when you go into the ability menu, he has a lot of stuff unlocked compared to the others. Like, it's one of these little things that really... ...drives home just how... ...how much, par how much more powerful Kiryu is compared to the other guys. <laughs> I love it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no! Nice. Nice! We love it. Eat shit, Saito. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Black. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh. God, Kiryu feels so good to play in this game. Uh-oh. Why does I say that? I eat shit. Okay. We gotta... Take a defensive approach. <laughs> Holy sh! Saito, Saito! Why is it? I say one thing and I do something else. Okay, okay, there we go. That's our cue. There we go. I'll be taking this for no reason. I'm probably not even gonna use it. Okay. Bomb! Uh-oh. Oh my god. Please stop. Uh-oh. Okay. I need to find a heal. Uh-oh. Okay. Heal! Oh, I have multiple of them. Okay. Sick. Hey, buddy! Uh-oh. Of course. Hyper armor. Just like we love it. I wonder which heat actions he also has by default. Uh oh, this fucking. Come over here. Okay, you can do this by default. Sick. Okay, nice. Oh, ho, ho, you idiot. Nice. I'll take this again for no reason. What the? Was that supposed to be Shadow or like what was that? Oh, nice. Uh oh! Yo! I have the dodge cancel? Oh my god. Kiryu means business in this game. He's scared. Circle? Yes. This one is always circle. Can't believe Kiryu resorted to using guns. I'm shaking and crying right now. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I love Rebellions. Guess we can do the same thing we did with Saijima like that. has been the hardest character with no upgrades? Saijima. Oh, 
Uh, nice, Lily. Does a rebellion technically count as a long battle theme here? It's hard to say because it plays in, it plays in boss fights and long fights as well, or well, one long fight really. To Kamurocho. You mean the shortest chapter in the game, part two? Did you die already this stream? We're still going strong. We did die at least three times. We died once in the prison break segment. We died once at uh, Ibrahimovic, mainly because when I went into the fight, they didn't refill my heals, and I couldn't use, use heals when I went into it. When was the third time? Or was it just two times? Hmm. Yeah, it might have been two. Yo! Yo. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, gamer. I thought he died twice during the prison break. Did I? I think it was once. Da, 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 da. Palace? Who's a better character? Lily or Yasko? Sue. Yeah, I think the whole never killed anyone is a big meme because, well, there's multiple reasons. In combat, you could put 10 bullets in a guy and after the fight he'll be walking. Uh, then you have cutscenes like, you know, the waiter um, in Kiwami 1 and Nishiki saying to Kiryu that we shouldn't kill anyone. Right after having a whole fucking shootout segment on, like, the highway. <laughs> so, you know. She's crying. Anyone else crying? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should... No, I'll have a chance to save, actually. I mean, the chapter's gonna end soon. Sugar Rose... Okay, I should probably get heals right now as Kiryu. Or we can also go to Naomi. And look who's on the left. can't carry anymore. Well... Bobby boy! Are we playing nervousness again? I could, but it's not gonna last long. Especially because we're skipping stuff. <laughs> I completely missed Bob in this game. This is your chance to fix that. Go back and play the game. Majima's going to prison? I'm telling you, it's Saijima's influence. Encounter. You mean the Protag chapter. The Protag class chapter, there we go. Nice zoom in. <laughs> so Just like...
Oh, this scene. Saijima and a seasoned Colosseum fighter lose to these nobodies. Do -do -do. Look at how beautiful Rainy Kamarocha is. <sighs> Date, you had one job. God damn it. Legend. <laughs> Find Yasko. What if I don't want to? Okay, well... We don't really need to buy heals yet, but I am gonna, like, put stuff in the storage soon. <laughs> yeah, freak. Would be nice. Uh-oh. Please don't... No, no, you... Okay, but I have an idea. Can I go here? Let's despawn that guy. Da -da 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 -da. Boom! Before we had the drone tech, there was the restaurant tech. Or, well, the refresh tech. You refresh the city. The... For the second time, we're playing on Legend. I'm probably gonna save it right there. I should add it to the title, probably, at this point. Hold on. I should probably add the difficulties for the pre previous games as well. I think only Yakuza 3 I didn't add. Yakuza 1 doesn't really have a difficulty. Well, it kind of does, but the highest one is normal, so... There we go. You know, Yasuko ruins everything. If she saw Kiri in the sewers, we wouldn't have that fight. I'm actually not sure. I, I think she thought Kiryu was sus. So she just ran away from him. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what Yasuko's thinking? Whoa, what difficulty is this? Here we go. <laughs> Smile venomously. Let's see how this fight is like without upgrades. The fact that AI Akiyama can use the counter after you, you're done attacking has always thrown me off guard. And I'm like, wait, how the hell do you do that? But then I found out you don't. It's just AI Akiyama doing a special, like, unique thing somehow. Uh-oh. 
Uh, Tiny Moro and Heath loves the dodge attack. So we want to... I'll focus on Akiyama for now. I think Akiyama does it as well when he's in Heath mode. Uh-oh. go. One of the most awkward quick time events, but... What is Akiyama doing? <laughs> God damn. No, 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 Tiny Mora. Not nice. Oh! The parry! Dude, okay, you can stop. You can't. <laughs> See how good Tiny Mora is. I'm telling you. Tiny Mora is slept on. Look at this shit. <laughs> okay, you can stop. Seriously. See what I mean? Like, that parry, the potential is insane. Yeah, we are using heals. It depends on the section, though. Some, you know, th there's a few sections where you can do that, or it's limited. Like Saijima's Prison Break, uh, Saijima's Fight in the Coliseum. Here we go. I smell solitude. Look at Akiyama's neck. Do you think it's plausible for Akiyama to consider Kiryu his hero, but to have no idea how he looks like? Not even from articles or something? I don't know. Skipping a cutscene in Yakuza games is, is a sin. Luckily, this is not a cutscene. <sighs> Mutual fists? Hi. Hmm. <laughs> the different pictures they have for Katsuragi. There's one cutscene I never want to see again in my life. Oh, which one is that? <laughs> yeah, look at all these reactions. Not even a reaction, reactions. One moment he's happy, like happily looking at the phone like this. Oh, and then he's like... Well, well, speaks pleasantly or like happily on the phone. And then he's turning back on his chair like that and then like... <laughs> a 
Okay, maybe... Now I'm gonna store stuff in the storage. Uh, <laughs> Yakuza 7 Saijima, the dragon of Dojima. Yeah. He's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. I am ready. I think this this might be one of the hardest things in the whole game. The final part of the long battle, specifically. I am not excited for that. Let me see which heat actions I have unlocked. Terrain, wall crush, weaponry, finishing, slamming, swinging, okay. Head bashing, nice. Mounting. Essence, oh, okay, that is that's very good. Smoking, sweet. Okay, I have some pretty good ones. Isn't this the hardest long battle ever? It's one of the longer ones, but it's not the hardest. But it might be the hardest now, with no upgrades. Because, like, the essence of terror is really helpful. The Kamaki moves are really helpful in this fight. But, like, you don't, you don't really need them. But they sure make, like, at least one part much easier. Oh my god, I just fucking realized. The last time we got there... It wasn't even the final fight. That shotgun guy. Oh. Disgusting. Actually disgusting. I'm not looking forward to that. And I don't think I have the heat action for guns, so... It's gonna be scary! <laughs> Again, I do find it funnier how... A lot of people were concerned about Tanimura's part, but we all know what's coming now. Um, PC mods? Not really. I barely play uh, with mods uh, for Yakuza. What if we go through all of Kamurocha Hills and then we die at the very end? Now that would be, uh, poo-poo. That's right, I said poo-poo. YouTube is probably gonna demonetize me, but you know what? That part just sucks that much. I said it. Poo-poo. Oh, solitude. We meet again. The hammer guy is also going to be annoying without the Kamaki moves. Alrighty, Slimon. Thank you for joining. Imagine doing this, this long battle, without heals. No upgrades, of course. On Legend. On Legend, specifically. Not any other difficulty. On Legend. How would that be? Uh-oh. Yeah, look at the gun guy just in the back there. <laughs> He's chilling. Leave it. Oh, fuck. I wanted to stomp on him, but... Listen, you, over here. No, 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 you, don't. oh, you, okay, there we go. No thanks, bro. My, my. All right, do it, do it, do it, you. This might work. Oh, yes, it would work. Do it again. Again. The fact that you have dodge cancels by default in this game is insane. Yo, Brent. Thank you, thank you. Glad to hear it, buddy.
Okay. Heat action. Boom. Yeah, this guy looks like he could be Mikio's dad. I mean, we do see his dad in, you know, in a sub-story, but... Time for you, buddy. Yeah, just well, just look at me and watch while I run your way. Sounds like a good idea. We're watching the awful cutscene, though, right? Oh, good question. Should we keep it? <laughs> you know, for all time's sake, because of like, uh, you know, you know, the meme potential. Some cutscenes never get old. I'm scared of being wall bounded by the shotgun guy. Oh, best quick time event. <laughs> hmm. This guy is annoying as well for having hype armor, but he's definitely not annoying as the shotgun guy. And we have three grabbers here, if I remember right. This place sucks. Also, we don't have the Kamaki reversal by default, right? I don't think we do. No, you... No! Look at them. Look at these little shits. How? Like... <laughs> oh god, this could be bad. Like, if this baton guy stunlocks you, he could keep doing that for like... A long time, so you want to be really careful. No, no, not the knockback. The uh, grab counter, basically. When they grab you, you press circle. I think you had to unlock that, right? What? Oh my god. Okay. Of course. I could also do this, actually. There we go. This guy's hyper armor is really something. Like, if he starts an animation, that's it. He has hyper armor, but I think otherwise he doesn't. The oh, nice, 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 nice. We caught him red handed. Any weapons? Yes. Oh, buddy. No. Okay, that works. That works. Here you go. By the way, did you guys notice something? About this guy? I'll give you 10 seconds. Why did they grab so much? They were specifically grabber enemies. They have a specific animation where they do, like, their arm goes around like that. Arms. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. This is the same guy in Yakuza 3. The purple guy from the Snake Flower Triad. 
long fight. Same head. Purple guy, yeah, FNAF. We were talking about that. What nice hitbox? Almost. There we go. <sighs> Honestly, I have no idea when to... When we get to the rooftop, I have no idea who to take out first. <laughs> we might have to abuse the quick step cancel. Uh-oh, Knuckles guy. Nice. <laughs> I think so, Vic. You know, the quick step cancel is one of those moves I forget about a lot, even though it's one of the most useful moves. Okay, level up. Now this guy's gonna be annoying. Yeah, the Hakuho captain. <laughs> um, it's 1.16 a.m. here right now. What about you guys? Six a.m. 3 p.m. <laughs> All right, this guy is back. Whew, not bad. But of course he has hyper armor, so fuck you! I'll use it on him. The Hakuho Gun was the second hardest character in 3, wasn't he? Well, he he's just very tedious. Even with the no upgrade run. Nice! Oh no, I wanted to do it again, the stomp, I mean, but that works. Hyper armor. No, why did you do the jump again? You. And now he wasn't in animation, so I couldn't grab him. I wanted to grab him like that. Oh, okay. Nice. Mm. 
Yep, the dude with the shotgun is next. Oh boy. Uh, this is the remastered uh, version. Was the original more difficult? I did feel like some... Like a handful of parts were more difficult, but could be my imagination as well. Like the boat chase as Tanimura. I could vaguely like rem remember that being more difficult on the PS3, but who knows. Okay, I'm gonna steal your gun. Yo, thank you for the super chat, Shin Megami. Uh oh, you seen what I'm seeing? Oh boy! <laughs> I am not ready. And I think they dropped my gun, maybe? No, I still have it, I guess. Um, okay, wait, let's take out... No! The goons. <laughs> See, I think uh, someone was asking about the original and the remaster being more difficult or not. I think this guy shoots way more often in the remaster. I think. Not sure. Kiryu, please, get your shit together. Please, aim like... Yes, there we go. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, can we... Yes, no. No, we can't. God damn it. So, okay, you can't grab him at all. Which makes no sense, because you think a gun user would be probably, like, the weakest. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, having the cat-like reflex is a big help. Oh, uh, by the way, thank you, thank you, uh, Shin, for the... Super chat, thank you, thank you. I'm just so distracted by this piece of... Oh, 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 oh! You wanna be cheeky? Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> he was like, no, you. <laughs> oh, the audacity to wall bound. Imagine doing this fight without heals, and the next one. Alright. Look at these two. How do you think they got there? <laughs> okay, this is gonna suck. He's back, and there's like 10 goons with him. Not all at the same time, but you know, they'll they'll arrive soon. <laughs> well, you know what? If I can shoot one at a time when I get up, that would be nice. Oh my god, I can't even do that now. <laughs> Stop! Okay, should probably heal. Oh my, I can't shoot! <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go, we're getting somewhere. Oh, this room is so bad. Oh my god. I'm out of ammo. Can I... Okay, nice. We're getting somewhere. Okay, should probably heal just in case. Okay. I know there will be more of them arriving now that I killed these guys, but... Uh, we have to take them all out eventually, so... <laughs> Uh-oh. No, not, not him, Kiryu! <laughs> Most of my heals gone thanks to this guy.
Let me heal. Okay, maybe not that one. No, I... Yeah, I'll use a stamina next. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, this is probably way more annoying than Munakata. I mean, you know, if you play normally, this th this guy definitely is more annoying than Munakata. Which is saying something. Oh, shit! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god. Imagine doing this whole long fight with no heals, with no upgrades. With no upgrades and with no heals. Okay. Let's try. Okay. Beautiful. 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 This is gonna make it a bit less annoying. Just a bit. Just a bit. Uh-oh. The double dodge is actually... Sometimes it is worse to do with this guy, because that takes more time, gives him more time to aim at you and shoot. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> no, you... Oh my god, I just... <laughs> no heat action for you, he said. Okay, let me... He has a tiny amount of HP left. Let me just... There you go. You fucking... Oh, I hate that guy so much. Holy, look at that, Joe. Okay, so... I don't know if these, if these are gonna be enough for the rest of the battle, but... It had like... It must be. It needs to be enough. I think we'll find heals along the way, but, you know... Oh, God. That guy is... Can we get the extension, please? Not yet. I think you have to do it like 10 times or something. You have to do it a lot. Uh-oh. Hyper armor. We love it. Nice hitbox, dude. Okay. Uh, do we have what? Yes, we do. I don't want to waste it on this guy, though. Oh. The 90th floor? I mean... I don't know. Maybe it is true. <sighs> oh! Beautiful. Yeah, I like the quiet version of Solitude as well. It had a weird name. What was it again? Like, I think you, it was two words you never see in English. Or not in most contexts, at least. You know, I should probably have saved the gun for this room here. Yeah, guys, the obscuration. Where do you hear that? Nice. That's one kill. No, 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 no. You. I'll take it. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Oh, 
I should probably... I'm gonna save my heat for another room, I guess. Oh, it's a German word, okay. <laughs> Any more heals? No. Da -da -da. We have a guy here. Me the gun. You know, I should have saved the gun probably for another room as well. But, uh, meh. Oh, drop it here for now. Uh oh. Okay, machine gun guy is bad news. I think he can take a detour around so he, like, you don't run at him. We'll see though. Many heals on this floor will do. Okay. I'll just take the gun. Actually, I'll drop it here. Okay, well. I wonder if they're still there on Legend, though. Love how simple and powerful that move is. Just slam their head into the ground. Nothing there. Should probably not waste it on this guy. Well, what is that board doing? <laughs> yeah, no heals so far. I think there will be a heal after the next room we have to do. Yeah, I'll just continue for now, probably. I'll take this. This room can be annoying. No, no. He had to start an animation. It ruined everything. Oh, man. You guys have probably heard this like 10 times by now, but man, I hate it when they start an animation and if you were doing a grab or if you were going for heat action, it's gone. Okay, at least this guy's out of the way. Charging around. All right. Yeah. This might be the hardest part in the whole run. Flyers. Uh-oh, 
<clears throat> is Ishin worth it? Depends on how you feel about it. If it's a game you've been wanting to play, go for it. You'll get your money's worth by, you know, or with content. So you don't have to worry about that. But do you have any interest in it, is the question. If you do, go for it. It is a fun game. Okay, this might be another tricky room, but thankfully, or, like, I hope we can do a heat action off the bat. Equipment, please. Okay. I'll take it. What do you think about the pole heat action in Kiwami 2? I mean, it is a heat action. It's pretty funny. Uh, they patched out the guaranteed wins, but you can still do the glitch. You just have to save scum. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah. What, are you gonna try Amon? What, you mean uh, no upgrades or Asian Amon? Okay, this room. There's a guy with a gun. I don't know where exactly, though. Okay, he's not here. There he is. No, not the... Oh, that is so bad. The stun. The double stun, even. Uh-oh. use this for now. Nice. Yeah, like, in normal playthroughs, this this room is pretty cool. I kind of wish they did more dark rooms. Oh no. I don't know if the heals I have left are going to be enough. <laughs> Take that. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Asian cards as well. Okay, we have we do have like a bunch of full heals. The question is, are they gonna be enough? I think maybe if we have equipment or like weapons lying around um, on the top floor, we might be able to do it. Because, you know, the previous bosses you fight get reduced to uh, having goo in HP. So maybe. Oh, I'm scared. Chat, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Okay, I don't think there's any equipment around, so uh, that's going to suck. Oh no, we have cones. But then there's that guy. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna try doing this. What am I gonna do when I get heat? I don't know, but... I still can't throw him, god damn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 this is not good, not good, not good. Okay, we... We were doing pretty good, so let's... He lost half his HP, let's try to do that again. 
if we just spread them out a little bit. Okay. Time to just keep dodging for a bit, spread them out again. Okay, that's already a huge weight off of my chest. Uh, you have no idea how relieved I am right now. Okay, I'll take it. It's funny how when you get the gun guy, this is basically a guaranteed win. I just want to grab a cone now. God damn it, can he stop? Like, oh my god. The running kick, stop it. Okay. No, no! You he had to start the animation. Okay, I'll do it on him. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, you are confused. Hope you're having a good lunch. Nice. That's what I love to see. Okay. Uh, we can do a part two. Uh, no, we don't have that one, Bigfoot. I don't think so, at least. When I looked at the heat action list, we didn't have it. Okay, it's just you and me. The fact that I can drop this guy, but not the gun guy, is hilarious to me. You're a boss! That guy's a nobody! <laughs> I mean, you are a faceless boss, but still. Uh-oh. Here comes the dodging. Not anymore. There, baby! Okay, by popular demand, we'll keep this next epic revolutionary cutscene while I go take a small, small break, okay? Stay. Stay. さか本当にここまで来るとは。伝説のまあ、1000億なんて大金、総総簡単に運べるもんじゃない。お約束の現金 
光ですさあ役者は揃ったそれじゃそろそろ取引に入ろうああ物々交換としよう西島康子からだあんたはその場から動くんじゃない木戸がそっちに行ったらその女と引き換えにそのファイルを木戸に手渡せファイルの中身を確認したら西島と一千億をここに置いたまま俺たちは帰る分かったさすがだなこういう場でも動揺一つ見せないとはまあいい行け大丈夫かごめんなさい私が言うこと聞かなかったからもういい兄貴とは話せたのかええ長い時間一緒に監禁されてたからそうかうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうまさか本当に生きてここから帰れると思っていたのかあカズラギ起動撃せ桂木さん俺が兄貴のことを裏切るとでも思ったんですか<笑>兄貴これを。さすが俺の兄弟分だよくやったな木戸
桐生和馬さんですね東条会柴田組金村工業若頭の新井ですこうしてお目にかかれて光栄です何をふざけたこと言ってんだお前自分が何をしているのか分かってんのかお前は今自分の兄弟を裏切ったんだぞそれがどんなことか分かってんのかええ分かってます十分なほどにねおやらい登場会はお前に渡さねえ何があろうと俺が食い止めてやるいいな遅すぎるんですよあなたはいつも遅すぎるだからこうなるんです。Oh, chat. Are we all enjoying the show? Allow me to join you. Look what I got. We got a bagel for this occasion. A whole bagel. So good. Let's sit back and watch this. Cream cheese. It's actually plain, but. Well, I think the bagel itself is flavored with something, but there's nothing inside. I do have other bagels, though, that have something in them, but I'm saving those for later. Fellas, we're about to witness a revolutionary moment. Oh, Sajima. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do with that? Shoot me?
おい何してんねえ来ないでありがとうお兄ちゃんたった一日だったけどお兄ちゃんと話せて嬉しかった安子お兄ちゃんは無実よでも私はたくさん人を殺してしまった安子 you do realize it's still attempted murder right the thing he did Damn. Someone took shooting lessons, and it ain't Katsuragi. <laughs> in the chat okay finale time We'll see. I'll try to get it. Yo, thank you, Judgment Kazi, for the gifted sub. Who's the lucky person? Rafai. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, how about this chat? God, I really wish YouTube had like a specific member gifting, but they don't. So I'll just say this. I'll ask you all a question. And if you all get it right, I'll gift one sub. For real this time, okay? Uh, let's see. Who was the dumbest person in the cutscene we just watched? <laughs> Everyone, Saiji, Mayasko, Kiryo, Kido, Katsuragi. <laughs> oh my god. Here's the crazy thing. All of you are right. So, uh, here's the gifted sub. Oh god, I have to update this application. Okay, just a second, guys. Just a second. Who's gonna get the sub? We'll find out. Last cutscene. That cutscene was meant for you to go on your phone. Yeah, look at me. Come on already, holy shit. Okay, who's the lucky person? Who's the lucky... Hold on. Chat! 
What did you have for your last meal? Oh, come on, let's talk about it. Okay, this should work. Here we go. Who got it? Who got it? Eline! I think that's how you pronounce the name. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Congratulations! Enjoy the new emotes and enjoy the, uh... The, the shiny Torner badge next to your name. Okay. Is the finale gonna be, uh... The hardest thing about the game, or no? Here's, here's the deal. I'm gonna try to, uh... Not use heals. Like, for the first or second tries, but then I'll just go for it. Um, having said that, though, uh, it might be... What's the word I'm looking for? It might... If we have to, like, load the save and go through all these boss fights again, I... I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Elaine is a paid actor. Yeah, look. Don't expose us like that, okay? Don't do it. I have a message for you guys. He's kicking my ass. Any prey gears in the chat? <laughs> yeah, Dati just leaves. This ain't none of my business. No, 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 no. What do you think were the exact words going through Saijima's head? Dear God, please never ever let me fall into a situation where I have 5 IQ like that again. Amen. And to that, I also say Amen, Saijima. Unfortunately, he ends up having 5 IQ again in Yakuza 5, so. What can you do about it? Alright, step aside. Me and the boys go into the Millennium Tower. Oh yeah. They did the thing. Such a great shot, though. Like, that was awesome. When I was like 13, 14, 15, this was like... Oh my god, it can't be... You can't get cooler than this. And then we have a, like a 15 to 20 minute cutscene, which we're not watching for obvious reasons. Who wants to watch that? Look at you! Okay, I'm assuming I should have a full um, heal. If I don't, if I'm not fully healed at the beginning, I'm gonna use a heal. Yo, first class soldier boy. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Really glad to have you with us. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, look at them. I don't have any heat actions with Akiyama, so this is gonna be rough. We have- actually, wait. Yes, we have this. Yeah. 
Look at how slow Akiyama is compared to the others. Well, I mean, Saijima is the slowest, but... Akiyama is surprisingly the second slowest. Who thinks this is the fa the best rendition of Final Boss for Faith? No, you have to unlock the, the down tier action, unfortunately. Oh, the kick! No, 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 no! Can I grab you now? No! No! Nice. I'll take it. Shout out to the money just floating around. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. How did that not hit? See ya! See ya! See ya! It's like a song. Uh-oh, Red Aura. Now he means business. Right when I was about to attack, he has the timing down. Okay, he doesn't fall down now. Uh oh. Okay, instead of running away, I think blocking is a better alternative. Uh oh. This is scary! I'm probably just gonna use a heal next time, honestly. Because, like, if I get to retry, that would be fine, but... Yeah. There would be a lot of time wasted just loading, getting back into it, skipping. See, if I was Tiny Mura, that parry would have saved my life. No heals. But unfortunately for Akiyama, he's not Tiny Mura. I'm telling you. Tiny Mura, man. Tiny Mura. Uh. I don't think so, Snuffly. We get to see this again, though. Oh, that's <laughs>俺に初めて出会った時からその覇気があってくれりゃこんなことにはならなかっただろうにもう時計の針は戻らないんですよ後悔しても始まらないうんああ来いよくぞー秋山 Man, that shot is so cool. 
Did the money just freeze in the air? Hands in the air. Mister, I need to get you next to this wall. Follow me, please. Thank you. No, 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 no. Not good. We're throwing. Say, so, uh... Stop! Hey, there we go. Nice. Can I grab him in that heat aura? That's what I want to know. No, I can't. <laughs> uh oh. No grabs. Here's a question for chat. Which one of these final intros for Yakuza 4 is the worst? Not best. Worst. A lot of bentos. Daigo. None. Oh, I see you. I see you with the pairing. Song. Oh, he got me. Yo, okay, okay, okay with the- okay with the- the spam? Then again, am I really any different? Oh, oh! Nice one. At this point, he can't grab him and he can't down him, so I have to find some cheese. Nice, that worked somehow. This seems to work fine, too. Uh-oh. <clears throat> is it time? Yes, it is! What do you guys think of this quick time event? I think it's awesome.
Look at these level ups. Look at these orbs. All those unused delicious orbs. Okay, this one I'm actually kind of scared of. If we're not using heals, that is. Because he has ultra hyper armor and he heals and, you know. <laughs> For no upgrades, it is rough. <sighs> are these areas exclusive to this finale? I think, yeah, they are. Put a one in the chat if you think this is the best intro out of the four. I'll put you to the test. Ah. Two? <laughs> Balls out. Let's do this. Oh my god, I'm so slow. <laughs> Oh yeah, he also has guard break on like most of his moves, I think, at least. Let's see how this goes. Yo, that was that Minia's move? You okay there? Is he gonna do it? No, 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 Gra grab, grab, Sajima, no! See the hyper armor? And even from that, he doesn't... No! But yeah, it is interesting how they never reused Kido's or Arai's movesets ever, to my knowledge. Yo! I think the uppercut actually does look different, but you know, it still is an uppercut. So that's why it looks similar. Uh-oh. Do it again. Nice dodge. Oh, he was gonna do it. The heat action. Uh oh. Okay, so he heals twice. We're gonna get the first time soon. Do it. Oh. Uh-oh. Nice. 
No, couldn't dodge at all. Uh oh. Oh! Come on, Saejima, come on. No, no! Oh shit. Dodge! Alright! Soon, 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 soon! Oh, no, no! Okay, that happened. Do it. There we go. Uh oh. Okay, it should be done soon. Is it gonna kill him though? That's the question. Okay, yeah, it is. Da -da -da -da. That jaw kick though. God damn. Like, imagine if Kido's tongue was slightly out and then Saijima hits him with that fucking jaw kick. What would happen to his tongue? I always think about that for some reason. C fucking tongue gone. <laughs> Here we go, anime time. Yeah, no guns this time, just shirtlessness. Uh oh. He means business now. Oh, I do have regard by default. That is huge. Uh oh. Okay, there I go. Listen, listen, listen. Using the dodge cancel might actually be very good. No, god damn it. There I go, I'm here. <laughs> oh. No facial animation, unlike the original. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Daigo, I'm right here. Daigo! Oh my. Guys, I tried to tell him, he never listens. Okay, now he listens. Da Daigo! <laughs> okay, I dodged in front of him this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my- Daigo, buddy, come on! Help a fella out! I'm trying to help you! But you don't want to help yourself! There you go, that's more like it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. One more time for the fellas in the back. Yeah. Uh oh. We have heat. That's a problem. <laughs> uh oh, the dodge. Holy. There you go.
Oh, he has level two heat now. <laughs> oh, I see you with that parry. Okay, he doesn't flinch now. Hyper armor. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Oh, I think he, he's finally not blind. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I heard Daigo's voice actor was a huge meme for a while. Because apparently his voice acting wasn't the best. Especially at first. Okay, I need to lessen my attacks now. One, two, okay. That dodge attack is dangerous. Uh-oh, do we have to use a heal? Oh, shit! Listen. I don't want to have to redo the two previous fights, I'm sorry! <laughs> I still have to be careful. Like... Brute forcing this fight uh, isn't an option, really. With no upgrades. There we go. <clears throat> oh, the bro fist! Look at these camera angles. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I'm assuming grabbing is not an option now, is it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Man, they just need to add, like, these Bollywood sound effects and, like, the sound effects, the effects, everything. If I make that part of the soundboard now. Yeah. Okay. Close. Five euro of video essence of smoking. We can try. Do the running attack. Oh. We need some good RNG. Watch me die in the process. So close. Daigo, Daigo, wait, I gotta take a smoke, wait! <laughs> Uh-oh. Guys, Daigo does not... 
He doesn't understand. Oh. No, 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 you. you. <laughs> Daigo, stop it. Can a guy smoke around here? Jeez. Oh. I swear to God, if I mess it up right now. You just need good RNG. Like, hope you do it. He, like, I don't know, does the parry stance for a bit, and then you get enough time to actually dodge out. We did it! We did it! Okay, time for the GOAT. The GOAT! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Who's the lucky person? Thank you for the gifted sub, Judgment Kazi! Congratulations, Snuffly. Enjoy the new emotes. Feel free to stare at Saijima. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. God, you guys want to hear something comedic? When I did the, um... Yo, Eileen, thank you for the gift, it's up! Thank you! When I did the dynamic intro tier list, a lot of people were like, how could you put Monokata in D tier and, like, whatever else in B tier? And I'm like, man, they don't know, do they? <laughs> for those who don't know, I ended up putting Monokata in B, or something like that, eventually. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Let's do what we did last time. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Congratulations, Spank, by the way. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, you guys want to hear comedy, by the way? When I took a, a break earlier, I got a comment notification. Someone commented on PS2 Yakuza, or Yakuza 1 original. Um, wait a minute. And they said, oh man, this game looks bad. I don't know how people praised this back then. You're in 2023 talking about a PS2 game about how bad it looked. Are you for real, mates? Let's see. I think this volume is good. I'm probably gonna use a heal. I don't want to risk this. Babe, wake up! Poor Faith is playing! <laughs> da -da. Oh god, no double dodge is gonna be rough to dodge the guns. Oh, I think the quick time event is coming soon. Quick time events? Hello? It should be any second now. There we go. Can a song be so good? Uh oh. Oh, what? No, 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 no,
Okay, the normal bodyguards should be all dead very s Oh, there we go. Almost. <laughs> okay, Malakata, okay. How can a song have incomprehensible lyrics but be so good? How? I wanted to use the heat action, but that works, I guess. <laughs> Look at Kido down there. <laughs> You too. I'm coming for you. Uh oh. Yeah, you can find Saijima and Kido, and wait, let me just show you. There is Kiryu and Daigo. And you can find Akiyama and Arai there. Look at them. <laughs> Such a cool detail. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not okay. Oh, oh my God! That that could have been a disaster. Holy shit! Eat this. <laughs> the dodge is on this guy. Okay, let me grab you then. Uh, yo, Mars, welcome. Okay, let me see if I can get Munakata now, because this guy's going to be annoying, and he's going to take a while to beat. Stop running, you- <laughs> Oh, okay, so that hit him somehow. No, 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 no. Nice! Almost, almost, watch this! That translates to, I'm firing all of you useless fucks! 
You're welcome. Now this is the true final boss. <laughs> That hit is so satisfying to land. Partly because it's so hard to actually land. Look at all the money. Oh, look at Monokata over there. <laughs> you want round two, buddy? Oh, beautiful. Watch, 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 watch! Oh! This parry dude is so fucking fun to use. Shinara could never! Come on. Can we end this with a heat action? I'll take it. We did it, fellas. We did it. Oh, oh. GG's. <laughs> GG's. Now go fight Am on no upgrades. Oh man, that alone would take, no joke, probably at least 10 hours. Because we have to go to premium adventure with the save, and then do all the sub-stories without upgrades, and then, you know, I don't have the time for that. Daigo has given up. Okay, legit question. Who thinks Yakuza 4 is one of the best Yakuza games? Not the best, one of the best. If you think it's the best, you can say yes as well. Like I do. <laughs> no, it's okay, Akiyama. Let them kill him. Definitely not me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watching Tanimura just bully Monokata here is amazing. <laughs> Arai comes in with a second gun for some reason. And then he throws... Oh, you know what, we'll watch all of this, just because... This is... this scene, like... I like it, but the stupidity in this cutscene is almost... It almost matches that Kamaruchi Hills cutscene. Oh... Oh, what are I? <laughs> Which one was the hardest boss? It's not a boss, but the whole um, Kamurochi Hills fight was definitely the hardest thing. Even though I died before in like the prison escape and Ibrahimovic. Like I think the prison escape segment and Kamurochi Hills are the two hardest things.
No, no, Arai, no! Why? Like it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, I'm out of here. Huh? What would you do that, Arai? What? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you know, somehow they evolved from leaving a villain with a gun and turning your back to him to directly throwing the fucking gun towards the villain and then like turning their backs towards him like oh my god how did they how oh that beautiful laugh <laughs> Arai was literally, he was literally like, oh, do you want to shoot us, buddy? Here you go, here's the gun. And somehow didn't think about it. This laugh or Jingu's? Mm, I think Jingu's legendary, sorry. Th this laugh is pretty comedic, but Jingu is like... The definition of a comic book villain <laughs> laugh. You can't beat it. It's so dramatic. Ho hold on. Why imitate it when you can just... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is he standing like that? He's afraid of heights. Or at least he's standing like someone who is. Man, there's so many laughs we can add to the soundboard. <laughs> oh. He's laughing. The whole gang is shirtless and standing there staring at him and he's laughing. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh, Akiyama's about to drop a bomb. He has a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Look, who's that? <laughs> oh, shut up, Sudo. You like it. Bring Sudo back, you cowards. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. Listen close. He's got Kamurocho laughing so hard that he loses it. Watch! Look! The crowd is roaring with laughter. He can't take it anymore. Oh. Okay. Laughter stops. 
Okay. Honest question. How many of you were fooled by this? I mean, uh, you would have to be in a very unique position if you were fooled by this. Either you played Yakuza 4 when it came out, or you somehow played Yakuza 4 without seeing Yakuza 5 or 6. <laughs> I thought it was rubber. Yeah, fair. <laughs> oh, Akiyama, you dummy. <laughs> Watch, by the way, by the way, by the way. Oh my god. Arai, Tanimura, someone take the gun away. And guess what? They don't. He's still sitting with a gun next to him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're a bunch of idiots, I swear to god. Like, fucking take... Take the gun, throw it out of the fucking building or something, I don't know. Oh... You know what? You know what? Maybe the stupidity is what makes Yakuza 4 so charming. Don't do it. What if- okay, what if he took the gun and shot someone else this time? What would- like, what, what would they do then? <laughs> like... I thought I legit thought he would kill Arai in that scene. Yeah, I mean, it would have been very possible. They could have easily killed off Arai and Kido in that cutscene just because you know they're guest characters. They don't have to come back. How old is Tani Mura? I'm pretty sure he's 29 in this game. If I remember right, what was it again? On the original release of this game, there was a Coliseum. Um, the, like, when you go to Naomi's Palace, you could play the Coliseum with Akiyama and Tanimura, but it was a different Coliseum. I think there it showed that Tanimura is 29, or some someplace like that. I don't know. What the heck happened to you? Chat, would you say the same thing to me if I lost all of my excess weight? What the heck happened to you, Devil Leon 7? <laughs> Oh, he's about to do it.
そうだえ半来の特選焼肉弁当あるけど食べるえそろそろ花ちゃんが帰ってくるんじゃないかと思っておいたんだよ。If I shaved my beard, would you guys say the same? What the heck happened to you, Devil Leon 7? Look who's up here. So, that is a more modern say any modern than a Yamete Creos on a Yigata Nanka Mayano Kamisan to Yori Modus Kamisan Mita in a Mundaro Antani Totino, they cut the Shigotoa. De Omano who are those in the Sosorigoga. そうだな。Is that Colosseum Access only in the original four? Yeah. And I think you had to download the updates、uh, that the game had as well.、Uh, I don't think it was in the base game. So once you do that, you go to Naomi's Palace, you talk to. Well, Naomi. No, no, actually, wait. There was a second Bob. You talk to the second Bob, and he had like these extra mini games. One of, the, one of them was a weird mini game where you escape from bobs around town. Like, there's multiple of them chasing you. And I think the higher you score, like, the more you evade them for, the, the better that is.、Um, and one of them, you know, the Colosseum. You beat as many as you can.、Uh, that, that mini game was crazy. I think as Saijima and Kiryu, you would see the leaderboards, people. Got thousands, like literally. I think someone went beyond 10,000. Because the, the thing about Saijima and Kiryu, they can、um, they can heal using heat. So that, that's a big, big, big help.、Uh... <laughs> well, yeah, that's is that, that I can't skip. So I'm probably going to end it while I talk over the credits. That was Yakuza 4, no upgrades in the most possible way.、Um, you know, you level up, so you can't help that.、Uh, you get extra HP, extra heat, you can't do anything about that. But the, up the actual upgrades you get make life, makes life easier for you by a lot.、Um, and we didn't have any of these. This was. I think this took the least amount of time so far. Yakuza 1 took seven hours and a half, and that was with save states. So, I think this might have been, like, overall, this might have been the easiest one. But、uh, it was fun overall. Aside from, you know, Shotgun Man and. <laughs> like, the prison, even the prison break segment wasn't too bad.、Um, and yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I'm probably going to do Yakuza 5 next. God help me. We'll see about that.、Uh, and yeah. So, this has been really fun chat. I'm probably gonna stream tomorrow or after tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because Mercenaries for Resident Evil 4 is dropping. And I'm really excited about that mode. So, we will see. We will see. All right. Until then, you guys take care, stay safe, and stay healthy. And thank you for all the support for everyone that had like super chats, gifted subs,、uh, this stream. Even if you just watch the stream, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time, fellas. Bye bye.